Alright, hello and welcome back. Sorry about that, that was very strange. Um, for some reason, we, we just started our uh, our intro for uh, for Fallout, we looked at the intro video, and then I clicked new game, and for some reason, my mic cut out completely, for, for no apparent reason. So that was, that was really odd. Um, hopefully I can find a way to match up those two videos together, uh, without having to have part one be like the first five minutes of the game. Oh well. But anyway, it looks like we're creating a character now. Ooh, I haven't really thought about this. Oh, oh, so interesting. These are presets. Cool. But yeah, yeah, Leo, I, I'd like to know something about this game. I've never played this before. Um, the, the, the earliest Fallout game I've really ever played is Fallout 3. So, yeah, uh, I could probably use a couple... Hints or tricks or tips. Interesting. You can modify. Or you can go create character. Okay, interesting. Alright. We have some optional traits too. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually sure what kind of build I'm going to go for. Um, I'm always a big fan of explosives. And energy weapons. Okay, so these are like tagged skills. Gotcha. Okay, so very similar to Fallout 3 then. Bloody Mess was originally a trait, really? That's crazy. And hey Skadoosh, how's it going? We just started off, um, I'm just creating my character right now. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do though. So let me see here. It doesn't look like there's an explosive skill. Gambling is a skill though. Interesting, that's, that's kind of interesting. High tech computer skills, okay. Interesting. Throwing. The skill of muscle-propelled ranged weapons, throwing knives, spears, and grenades. Oh, so throwing includes grenades. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, right, Leo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think I might do throwing. Um, big guns. I think it'd be really good to have. And... Hmm... It's a tough one. Melee weapons would be kind of cool. So we'd basically be able to throw spears, use spears as melee weapons, big guns. I think it would be a, a decent amount. Now we could do like small guns, but like having melee weapons at like what would turn to 80% would be pretty sweet. Although I feel like maybe we should have uh, some other type of uh, thing going on. But yeah, uh, Leo, what was the, uh, the thing uh, that you were going to tell me about things I should know for this game? Um, I'll, I'll put it in melee and, or sorry, big guns and throwing for right now. Oh, really? You won't be able to find big guns or energy weapons till the mid slash end of the game. Good to know, good to know. I think I'm still going to keep the whole big guns because it starts off so low. I, I, I think it's a good idea to have that right now. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe melee weapons. Save some ammo. But yeah, having, don't, not having small guns is kind of nasty too, but we could, we could try for a melee throwing big guns build. I think that'd be interesting. Now we don't have anything lockpicking or anything like that, but I don't know. 80% melee weapon to start off with would be pretty nice. Wait, what? Fallout 1 has a three-month in-game time limit. Interesting. Oh, you can turn that off in Fallout Fixed. Oh, interesting. Huh, okay. So strength. Modifies hit points, melee damage, and carry weight. So we're probably going to want more strength. Ah, oh, yeah. Tag skills doubles your progression points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, uh, it is for the first part of the game. Yeah, yeah, um... I seem to remember a big part of this is getting some sort of water purifier, and you only have three months to get that online, but the rest, there's, there's more to the game than just getting that, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so what could help throwing? Ranged combat distance modifiers. What do I have for endurance? Hit points, poison. We're probably gonna, if we're gonna do melee, we're probably gonna want endurance here. Um... Oh my gosh. Should we play a caveman? Oh no, I've been... Isn't low intelligence like hard mode? Basically? It would be funny. Action points, armor class. Okay. Luck. Okay. Probably perception as well. Don't do low intelligence? Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been told that's like hard mode. You can't do most quests. Okay, you're a literal idiot. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Sometimes it's funny. In this case, it, it'll actually damage things. Oh, gotcha. Right, right. Alright, so let me... It is a fun playthrough? Okay. Let me see here. So I think I'm gonna keep these. Uh, but I think what I might do is uh, bring Endurance up by another one. And... Probably strength up by another one. Cool. Alright then, what should we do here? Fast metabolism. Okay, your body heals faster. Okay. Plus two healing rate, uh, but poison resistance and radiation resistance start at zero. Interesting. You say ug or mom or uh huh. <laughs> nice. Bruiser. A little slower, but a little stronger. You may not hit as often, but uh, they when you do, they feel it. Okay. Minus two action points. Interesting. Let me see here. Plus one agility, but carry weight is lowered by ten uh, times. Whoa, gosh, no. One hander. One of your hands is uh, very dominant. You excel with one-handed weapons. 20% chance to hit um, with all one-handed weapons. Okay. Probably not in this case, since we're going to be using some two-handed stuff. Uh, your attacks show a lot of finesse. Uh, you cause more critical hits, but you don't do as much damage. Yeah, I don't know about that. Kamikaze. Let me see here. What is sequence? Armor class is zero unless you're wearing armor. Yeah, fault one and two is turn-based. Yeah, that's true. You swing harder, uh, not better. Your attacks are more brutal, but lack finesse. Plus four melee damage, but minus... Oh gosh, that's the opposite there. Okay. One less action point, but you can't aim for specific body parts. No, probably not. Um, by some strange twist of fate, people around you die in very, violent, uh, very violently. You always see the worst uh, way a person can die. Uh, you never saw such violence in Vault Life, uh, so this may have unforeseen effects on your future actions. <laughs> Interesting. Jinxed. All combat failures misses have a fairly high chance of being upgraded to critical failure. Why would you want that? Holy shit! <laughs> oh, man. Hmm, okay, so you're uh, you twice the amount of um, chance to be addicted, but you recover faster. Um... What's this one? Ooh, we don't want that. And gifted. Let's see here. You have any abilities and talents at most, okay. Uh, plus one to your primary stats, but you'll start with minus 10% on all skills and receive. Okay, so no. Obviously flavor for your build, I guess. Let's do bloody mess. Okay, so we'll put Bloody Mess so everybody dies in extremely violent ways. <clears throat> That'll be cool. Um, otherwise, I think we'll be good there. Um, I think I'm going to go with uh, just a simple uh, Vinny G. There we go. <laughs> Bloody Mess equals three pixels of redness. 
Oh, really? Unlike Fault, New Vegas, or 3, you gain uh, perks every three levels. Gotcha. So it'll it'll take a bit longer to gain those perks. Okay. But yeah, so this is, a, this is more like a melee sort of build that I have going on here. Melee throwing and big guns. Um, I'm still, I still haven't come up with a name for the archetype. So, uh, please, if you, uh, if you have an idea of what I should call this series, let me know. I'll consider it. What about options? Okay. Let's go done. Alright, done. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? I think 25's a decent age. I'm 26, so it's close enough. <laughs> to get a water control chip. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right. We are out. All right. Um, never before have you seen a natural darkness like this one. It almost looks unnatural to you. Uh, your title, Vault Dweller. Um, you see bones. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to the controls, so you're gonna have to bear with me. I think there might be a pack? There we go. Okay, I searched the bones. Okay, we can get a combat knife. Sweet. And some bullets. Alright, now since I'm doing sort of a melee build right now, let me just see what we have here. Right, we got a canteen. Is that a ripper? That's a flamethrower! Holy shit, I start off with a flamethrower?! Fucking A! This is gonna be awesome! Okay, uh, let's just, um... Inventory? Alright, let's just, uh... There we go, we'll have a knife to start off with. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any armor. Um, but let, maybe we could have a, a secondary pistol? Uh, do I need to load that up with, uh, ammo? Seer. That's 10 millimeter JP ammo. Okay. What did I just do there? Did I drop that? Still getting used to this. Back up for a second. Oh shit, I'm under attack. Let's... Okay, stab the thing. Okay. Hit the cave rat for four damage. Uh, it looks like I can swing again. I missed. Okay. And then, I guess, um, I need to end my turn. And then have the rat go in order to regain my action points, which are right here. Um. Oh, okay, that's switching weapons. Turn. 
Oh, in turn. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Oh, it's possible to make precision attacks? Um, severely wounded. Okay. Let's swing at the rat again. Ooh, nice! Cave rat was hit for uh, six points and then killed. Oh, uh, it looks like I'm still in combat. I'm gonna move here. Uh, can I pick it up? Let's end the turn. Okay, I think for now we're alright. I wanna... Uh-oh. Hey, Bikor, how's it going? You can stab, punch, and kick enemies in the groin? Oh yeah, cool. Alright, um, I think I accidentally dropped some things. How do I pick them back up again? Because we got the knife. I'm pretty sure I dropped the ammo that I wanted to equip. Because I'm still getting used to this whole thing. Oh yeah, cool. Well, thanks for stopping by, Bakura. Yeah, we just got out of the vault. I made someone who's good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, throwing weapons, and big guns. And we actually started off with a flamethrower, so I'm looking forward to using that. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, pick that up. Okay, I don't actually know how I did that. <laughs> okay, so... Where are these, though? That's AP. Actually, is my... Actually, it looks like he has ammo in it. Change your cursor. Okay, gotcha. So, like, right-click's an alternate cursor, I guess? Cool, and it looks like we're going to be in combat with this rat, it looks like. Let me uh, switch to a knife. Oh, yep, yeah, we're in combat now. There we are. No, no problem, Bacorn. It's no problem. I, I mean, yeah, I, I I, made a thing basically in the, the original, what, mod um, acceptance letter, which was basically like, I'm glad one of you guys are here. So, no problem at all. Gotcha. And hey, Darth Gandalf. Yeah, we just start off this series. All right, so you're saying there's precision I can do? So how do I do precision? Is it this? No, that's not it. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh! Uh, can I not do precision attacks? And hey, Seawain! No, it's fine, Seawain. Yeah, we just started. Basically, we just saw the intro video. We have to get a, um, a water purifier uh, card to reactivate our world purifier and we were just like exited the vault um, my major skills are uh, melee throne which includes grenades and throwing knives as well as spears I think and big guns All right, well, I'm just gonna do this Ooh, oh here we go maybe right click and then ah here we are I can aim for the eyes the body the groin here we go I need to right click on there we aim for the eyes. I missed. Let me try again. Aim for the head. I missed. Let's try it again. Gotcha, gotcha, all right. <laughs> I need four action points. All right, so we'll right-click that, and we'll just do a normal swing here. So yeah, it looks like four AP cost for precision, three for normal swing. Wow, he exploded. Nice. Uh, anything here? No, nothing on him. Is there anything on this rat? Nope, nothing on that rat. Yeah, Brimcon, yeah, we just started the original Fallout, yeah. Just figured out how to use precision attacks and all that stuff. I'm attacking rats with a combat knife now. Oh, there's a rat down here. Alright, let's see if we can't do a precision. Oops. 
to the face. Darn. Oh shit. Okay, that's fine. Just a normal stab there. All right, I'll have to. Oh wait, I still have more points. Cool. Are the green pills mentats? Okay. Ooh, he exploded. Nice. All right. Uh, I'm gonna end turn. There we go. Awesome. Let me uh, take a look at this rat. Nothing. All right. Let's move over here. Initiate some combat with some more rats. Actually, I do have throwing weapons. Let's check out if we can use a couple of those. Yeah, these are throwing knives. We also have a uh, a club. Interesting. Let's uh. Actually, we probably should save that. We shouldn't be using throwing knives on rats. As cool as that would be. Oh yes, Sea Wayne. Right, right. All right. Let's go attack this rat. Oh, it already. It's it's going after me now. I think normal thrusts are probably the way to go right now, since I can do more of them. Plus 76%. Wow, he exploded. Oh, you can manually uh, do combat? Okay, let me take a look. Nothing on the rat. Okay. Let's take these rats out. We need experience. Oh, exploded. Alright, so can't exactly go towards him. That'll be two combat points. I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. There we go. He exploded. Fantastic. Oh, really? You can click the combat button. Gotcha. Interesting. Alright. End turn. We're doing well so far. I mean, I'm attacking rats with a knife, but you know. There we go. Alright, and then we'll end my turn here. Okay, the rat still isn't coming for me, so I might have to walk up to it. And then stab it. Nice! Awesome! Sweet, that was 75 experience. What kind of build? It's, um... It's kind of weird. Um, actually, how can I look at... Uh, let me see here. Is there a way to look at my skills? Oh, um, skill decks. There we go. I found it. Still getting used to everything here. Oh, oh cool. Okay, that activates sneaking. Cool, I didn't know that was a thing. Awesome. But yeah, uh, my major skills um, are uh, big guns, melee, and thrown weapons. And um, I think we have, what, 767555 for all of our specials, so uh, higher emphasis on strength and endurance with a little bit in perception. Gotcha. Okay, let's end that turn there. I don't think the rat saw me. Alright, no problem, Con. I understand that, man. Can't have a late night and then go to work and be tired. Nasty stuff. Ooh, missed him twice. Alright, let's end my turn. Oh, the rats don't seem to attack me, but they will approach me, which is kind of weird. Got him. There's also a pip button which activates your quest. Okay. Let me take a look here. Looks nothing on the rat. Okay, nothing on that rat either. There's a whole nother cave of rats. Kill all the rats! Large amount of rats fenced in this area. We'll get all of them! Heck yeah! And my turn. Yeah, they don't actually seem to attack me. It's kind of strange. Come on, get this rat. Good. Let's 
Get in there. Oh, okay. Gain 25 experience. Nothing on the rat corpse. I think the rats waste their action points walking up to me, and that's why I usually get a first strike in. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, the, the, there's mole rats later on that are more frustrating. Hey, that makes sense. Oh, that one hit me for 2 HP. Shit. There we go, exploding. That's true. They are rats. That's, that's true. Stabby stab. Ah, oh, shit. These ones are, uh, are very aggressive. On stabby stab. Yay, he's exploded. I friggin' love that. Right, Darth Kandal friggin' A. That's a turn-based game for you. I'm actually playing two series that are based on turn-based stuff right now. I did take bloody mess, I did, yeah. We're gonna see a lot of corpses exploding. Yeah, I recognize a few of these uh, songs, uh, or, or sorry, um, OTSs uh, from, they reused them in uh, Fault New Vegas as well. I think this one you hear in Vault 22 uh, with, the, uh, the, with the flowers. Or sorry, not the flowers, the, uh, the plant people. They also have the giant frickin' like plants that spit at you. Okay, I think there's one over here somewhere. Seem to be doing pretty well with the knife. We also have a club. Fallout 1's tone is dark as fuck. Awesome. Let me check something here. So our knife does 1 to 8. What does this club do? This club also does 1 to 8. Interesting. Is there any uh, advanced sort of things I can look? Okay, min strength three weighs three pounds. Well, min strength two. I might be able to benefit from the club just based on the fact that it requires more strength. Uh, let's see how we how we work with this club. Okay, let me see here. Oh, here we are. It's the swing. It's the uh, same action points. Yep. Okay. Okay. Missed. Got him. Love that thwunk too. That's nice. Okay. One more rat. Missed twice, darn. There we go, nice. Getting some decent experience here. Is is there a, a place where I can check the uh, accumulated experience? Uh, let me see. You see bones? Okay, cool. All right, then this looks like the way out. So let's head out. Oh yeah, Darth Gandalf. Awesome. Oop, oh shit. Get him! Ah, oh, darn. I did- I hit him for one point. What do you guys think? Is the combat knife or the club better? It could just be RNG, but it does seem like I hit more often with the combat knife. Nothing on the rat? Alright. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, it's a 1d8, true that. They're both 1d8s, yeah. Uh, one requires more strength, though, so I thought that the uh, the club might be better in that case. Alright, oh, here we are. Uh, so this is the over map. Okay, and we have to head over here. 
So... Okay, I just select a spot and we just travel to it. Cool. And then uh, you can sort of see the days counting by, so that took two days to get there, it looks like. Um, mountains? Okay, I think if I wanted to, I could actually look at the mountains. Um, do I need to actually go into the mountains, or can I just click more? No, no, oh, gosh. Oh, wait, stop, stop, stop. I want to see what's here. Unknown. Oh, welcome to Shitty Sand, uh, Sand Stranger. Please holster that weapon while you're in here. Cool. Alright, uh, so I guess I have to unequip my weapons. While in Shitty Sands. Awesome. Let's head in. Here we go. Good day, I'm called Seth. Uh, how can I help you? You're welcome to NCR, right? Um, I'd like some information. Information, uh, what do you want to know about? I want to know about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. Uh, we have our own irrigation system so we can grow our own food. Uh, if we were not uh, plagued with raiders and rad scorpions, we would have no problems. I want to know about the raiders. Uh, there are several groups of raiders. I organize guards um, like Lan, or sorry, Ian, uh, to help fight them off. Uh, there is one band in the southeast of here. Watch out for them. All right. Want to know more about this place? Let's talk about rad scorpions. All right. Uh, those these those damn weren't rad scorpions. Uh, have been after our brahmins since we moved here. Not a week goes by uh, that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to keep. Oh gosh. Um, can you can you go up one? Okay. Cool. Yeah, the main quest is a time limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, though. There's there's still a lot more to do. But yeah, getting the, the chip is, uh, is, is timed. Okay. Where do I leave off? Yeah, now he goes by, someone gets poisoned, trying to keep out, um, keep them out of the pens. Uh, last week, they took my brother Jarvis. Um, Razlo, our doctor, is looking for an antidote as quickly as he can. Hey, if you have the means to help us... Uh, why don't you talk to our leader, Eridesh? Okay, cool. So we don't want want to we don't want to go to the red scorpions in the cave uh, yet. Uh, we can barter. Oh, cool. So he has uh, what what are those bottle caps? Okay. And what is okay? That's all he has. He has rope and okay. Point two two. All right, awesome. All right, nothing else. Okay. Uh, if you wish to speak to Erdish, our leader, uh, he likes to meet all of our visitors. Uh, he would be at the town hall. Uh, okay, the building to the south. All right, let's head over there, meet the leader. We might be able to do a few things here. Hello. Awesome. Um, south, this building? Or, well, if you're gonna have a town hall, I guess it would be this big building. Greetings. Ah, oh, here we go. Your business in Shady Sands might be... Ah, oh, here we go. So, yeah, yeah, I'm from a vault to the west. My people are dying of thirst. I need to find a water uh, purifier chip for them to survive. Wanderer, I shall believe you for now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned, your every move will be watched. Right, right, Sea Wayne, right. Yeah, that was that was some very interesting. Um I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Alright, let me see here. Hmm, let me see. Well, can you tell me about other Jump towns around town here? Lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories I'm certain there are cities south of that. Alright, thanks. Can I ask a few more Certainly. questions? What do you wish to know? Really, it's a literal game over if you don't do the, the first thing. Interesting. Alright. Uh, was there a quest, actually? I thought there was a quest we could do with Greetings. Aradash. What may I help you with this fine day? 
Oh yeah, what can you tell me about Shady Sands? Shady Sands is much like a family, one that keeps to itself. Okay, what kind of things do you have around, or, yeah, have around The here? gardens are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north, although the smell is, I fear, quite intense this time of year. Okay, anything we else? We are small and self-sufficient, so there is little else to tell. Have anything to barter? We have a combat knife and caps. Okay. I suppose I could sell some things, right? Oh, really? You can get more water to extend the time period. Interesting, Squid. Thanks for letting me know. All right. I think we're good. Yeah, I have a notepad below just in case some things get crazy here. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's why I, I sort of started the series is because I was told um, the original faults are really awesome. So, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for suggesting this, because uh, I wouldn't have tried it had you not suggested. Let's see if we can talk to the doctor and see if we can, uh, let me see. Here we go. Uh, it's late to come back in the morning, but I need your help. Sorry, but I can't help you. Done. Okay, well, all right then. Can't really talk to the doctor now. Is there a, uh, hip boy? Damn it, her office is closed. Um, maybe I should come back here uh, after we visit some other places. Because I feel like I'm too low level to be taking on scorpions or raiders. I know, the ambiance is, is, is quite quite crazy. Alright, let's, let's head out and see what else we can do. Alright, I guess we just go out here. Oops, there we go. Oh, yeah? Really? You can run into huge groups of death claws? Oh, gosh. That's quite scary. Ah, uh, so th those are the raiders, I guess. And this is Vault uh, 15. Oh, there is a companion Shady Sands? Okay. Um, cool. Let me, uh, let me try to find that companion. Let me talk to you, maybe? The one who said hello? Okay. I like that in video games, I'm just as, like, unsocial as I am in real life. <laughs> so I usually don't talk to a lot of people in towns. Uh, let me see. Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. Alright, what's about this place? Uh, we are a true community. We all work and share together. Okay. think we're good there. He's in the building to the character's left of the entrance. Okay. Ah, uh, this building then. Okay, welcome stranger. Um, we don't see your kind often. Why not? Uh, look, Shady Sands doesn't need your kind um, from the hub or junk town or wherever you came from. Um, we do pretty good uh, by ourselves. Okay. Uh, the last trader from the hub sold us um, a malfunctioning irrigation pump. Uh, we've had it with your dirty deals. Uh, you've got it wrong. I'm not like that. Yeah, right. So you say. Just don't get into any trouble, okay? No problem. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. I think it'll be useful to to have a companion early on though, so I'm glad for that. All right, so is that stocky man, shitty sands guard? Okay, so they're both guards. I want to talk to this guy. All right, hello stranger. You look like you um, you're new here. What's your name? My name's Vinny G. Uh, good to meet you. I'm Ian. All right. Let's see, uh, what do you do around here? I was a guard uh, for the merchants at the hub, however, I was shot uh, during the raid by bandits. I've been uh, staying here since the people have, oh gosh, give me a second. Um, freaking lost my place. 
Yeah, I've been staying here uh, since the people have helped me recover. Uh, still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience make me useful here. Shady Sands is my home now. Occasionally, uh, I even get to visit Junktown uh, or the Hub to do some training. Uh, since I'm the only person uh, who ever has uh, really left town. Interesting. Vinny G, what a cool street name, right? <laughs> uh, let me see here. Where's the hub and junk town? Yeah, that'd be cool to get marked on our map. Uh, the hub is a big trading center in the south of Shady, Shady, Shady Sands. Uh, it's run by several different caravan groups, uh, merchants, the water merchants. Oh, gosh. The water merchants, the Crimson Caravan, uh, and the Fargo traders. Junk town is a little south um, and a ways west. It's smaller, uh, but it's a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by the name of Killian Darkwater, uh, the local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Thanks. All right. So, Vinny G, what can I do you for? Tell me about rad scorpions. Rad scorpions are very dangerous. Uh, they have poison stingers in the tail. They're very quick. Aradesh has been trying to find a way to get rid of them. Uh, if you feel you're brave enough, talk to Aradesh about them. Okay. Oh, really? Speech options are less obvious in Fallout 1? Interesting. Alright, see you later, convoy. Have a good one. Alright. Oh yeah, can you give me directions to the hub in Junktown? I think we already asked that. Okay. Oh, can you help me out for a bit? Your experience would be useful. Hmm, tempting offer. Uh, since this place is getting boring, tell you what, standard rates, uh, 100 crap caps. Um, and you've got a deal. Okay, I can't do that right now. I don't have a hundred caps. I've got... I mean, I guess I could sell maybe the club or the knife, perhaps? What is that? Oh, it's a flare. There's the, what, flamer fuel? Yeah. What is that? Oh, we have a plasma grenade. No freaking way. Cool. Really interesting. It won't show you the percentage or requirements. Um, it's you that decides which options are better. Huh. Cool. Interesting. All right. Well, it looks like for now we're gonna have to continue on our own until we can find some more loot to uh, hire Ian. That's true. There were a few guys that had. Um, I don't have a lot to trade though, I guess is the problem, so I'm gonna try to get some more to trade before I go ahead and start collecting caps from other people. But yeah, it seems like everybody has the option of barter. Oh, you can actually convince him to join you. I didn't see any option there though. Was there an option I missed or like something I should have clicked? I'll give it another shot, but I think my charisma is five, so I'm not going to get any bonuses for it. Let's see here. Right, right, yeah. So, I mean, going fresh in this series, I'm so glad you guys are here because I would have no idea and I'd be like looking at the wikis or like how-to guides because holy shit. Um, I mean, what does he have to barter? I mean, he does have caps. So like, say I was to sell you a knife. That's worth 40. How about this club? That's worth 30. Interesting. Huh. Oh, really? It's pretty easy to miss opportunities if you didn't pay attention during the dialogue. What do you what do you mean by that though? I think you might have to give me a hint just so that I understand how to do this for the future because I might actually be so clueless I'll never pick up on it. Alright, tell me about the raiders. Okay. 
There are three groups, the Cons, the Vipers, and the Jackals. Oh, actually the same groups that we saw in Fault New Vegas. Uh, they pretty much hate each other, but um, they all raid Shady Sands. Interesting. Okay, Shady Sands is a um, yeah, soft spot. Okay. Are there many bandits? Uh, there are several. Uh, they come from various groups. Uh, they steal their food and occasionally shoot a few people. Seth organized the guards to help fight them off. Okay. Different groups, who are they? Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't click on the right dialogue choice. Okay, so I, I just completely missed it. Interesting. Huh. Gotcha. Alright, well we'll just continue on our own, that's fine. Interesting though, so I, I missed an opportunity to basically recruit him for free. I'm gonna have to look that up, because that, that's pretty wild. Alright, well let's head to uh, Vault 15. Alright, cool. Alright, there's a shack. Yeah, it's true, I can always make more caps. Oh gosh, there's a Rad Scorpion. And not only that, but I'm unarmed currently. Oh boy. Oh, you have to be pretty charismatic to convince him? Okay, so it was one of those sorts of things. Alright. It's 5 AP. Do I even have enough to... I don't even have enough action points. Um... I do have enough for the knife, though. Oh boy! Um... Can I fight off one with a knife? Oh, I need action points to access inventory. Interesting. I'm gonna have to end my turn here. Go ahead and try to shoot him. It's only 35% grenade out. This game doesn't auto save. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. You have 36 HP. I might have to grenade here. Grenades four shit. Okay, well I'm not gonna be using a grenade now. Alright, uh let's see if we can do a specific move on the scorpion. We could go for his pincers, maybe we can his pincers? The brain's fifty-five actually. Maybe go for the brain. Rad Scorpion was critically hit in the brain for 14 points. Uh, if it were human, you would swear it's pretty pissed off. Let me let me take a look here. Oh, it's severely wounded. Oh shit. Gotcha. Different speech options for higher charisma skill. Gotcha. That makes sense. I don't have enough action points. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and try to critical hit it in the brain again. Because that was pretty sick last time. Red Scorpion was hit in the brain for four points. We got him! Nice! That was awesome! We survived! Who in a Rad Scorpion tail? Awesome. Am I poisoned, by the way? 
Can I look at that? Hmm. I think that's character. Uh, I am I am poisoned. Okay. Oh, hitting enemies in the eye can blind opponents. Cool. Uh, yes, squid. They are. Yeah, yeah. Um, the. Oh wait, what's this? Did I level up? I see a a thing here. A plus and minus. Huh? Really? Did did I? How can I tell? No, I'm still level one. Okay, okay. I was I was gonna say that's interesting. Okay. I think we're good here. I just wanted to check that out. So I am poisoned, which is going to be a little bit of a, a pain. Let's see. It's an old shack and it's barely standing. Uh, seems to have been looted long ago. Alright, we'll just have to watch my health. I, I think my max health is 36. Alright, let's go down the hole. There we go. Got some mole rats going on. Oop, it saw me. Oh, there'd be a sound effect? Okay, I wasn't sure. Alright, let's see if we can get a good strike. Let's see, the body, the head, the eyes, the right paw, the left... Okay. Probably the head. I missed. Okay. Yeah, I saw the option for the Rad Scorpion quests. I just don't think I'm ready to take them on with a knife. At least a whole horde of them. Okay. Hit for three points. I think I'm just better off slashing here. Oh, I was using a club before. Oh well. That seems to work too. Awesome. Right, right, right. I'm not ready to take on a whole nest of them. That's for sure. I mean, I'm just a dude with a knife. Right, right, if I had Ian with me, I might have a chance. Right, exactly. Okay. Gotta end my turn there, return my action points. Ooh, nice, got him. Let's see if I can end my turn. Good. Sneak up behind him. Ooh, got a hit on me. Okay. Where did the wise have the rats come to you? Yeah, there there was something about a cure, but it was I think it was the doctor, and he couldn't see me that early. Yeah, just like more when you can do anything if you have the balls, right? Exactly. Why is this rat so... There we go, jeez. <laughs> was rolling low on those. Alright, let's keep going. Hope he saw me. Ow. I might have to do a stim pack. Damn. go. Oh, come on. Right, right. Got him. Okay, some rats coming for me. Or no. There we go. But yeah, probably don't want to start a quest and then have a time limit run out right. Let's see if I can end the turn. Good. Okay, I'm just gonna move like one space. Okay then. Oh, jeez. Come on now. Get that rat. 
Oh, I critically hit it for one point, seriously wounding the rat and knocking it around. Nice, we killed it. Cool, I didn't know we could like critical hit it and knock it down. Let's see if we can end turn here. Oh, someone else coming for me. Got him. Oh, he exploded. I love the exploding. Alright, let me see here. Oh, your Pip Boy actually sees what quests you have active? Alright, let me take a look at that. Uh, get the water chip 138 days left. Didn't we start with 150? Holy shit. Um, oh, that's resting. Okay. Gotcha. Status. Archives? Overseer's breathing. Gotcha. Oh, there's also a map button that shows you the auto maps? Ah, cool. Alright. Cave entrance. Awesome. Good to know. Alright, let's get this rat. I want to get as much experience as we can. Ah, oh, darn. I'm gonna have to eat a stim pack here. I'm not sneaking up on these rats. Okay, cool. Let's end the turn. Yeah, right. Two weeks just to get here, right? Alright, so we've got a stim pack. Let's see, stim pack. Okay. Um. Okay, that brought me up to 30. I'm pretty sure my max health is. 36? Yeah, 36. Okay. Okay, so they don't heal for too much, it looks like. Alright, got some rats coming in. Well, what the hell's that thing in the corner? Okay. Bad luck there. Oh gosh, that thing looks awful. Okay. What is that? She looks unhurt. I don't know what it is, but I can tell it's gender. Strange. Okay. The head, the groin, the left paw, right paw. I guess the head, maybe? Ooh, I missed. It's a mole rat? Okay. I thought I was fighting mole rats before. This thing looks huge. I hit it for no damage. Oh gosh, I was hit for a lot there. Oh really? Bullfrog 13 is a town, gotcha, okay. Okay, hit it for two. I missed. I'm gonna take a step back. Waste their points? Ow. Shit. Hit for three points. Oh, gosh, getting really bad RNG here. Back a spot. Ow. Ooh. I might die. Okay, we're gonna have to run. <laughs> Shit, so what am I supposed to do? Um, do I have to find like so what are some like lesser places I can raid? Because holy shit, I am not ready for that thing. I need some better armor or something to work with. Gotta get the hell out of here. It's as fast as I am. Um, I, I'm gonna try to take it down. Okay. 
try to hit it in the head. Damn it. Yeah, we need to talk to the doctor, right? Can I take a look at... Uh, looks wounded. Nah, we gotta get out of here. Darn. We'll have to go back to Shady Sands. We're not yet powerful enough to take that on. We got out. Thank goodness. Holy crap. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Well, actually, maybe we could, uh, barter with the doctor keep at least one stim pack. Alright, go back to Shady Sands. Oh gosh, we're wasting time! Oh gosh, we hit something. Um. Who are these guys? Trying to get some money from my job. Well, hello, Wanderer. My name is Duck. Um, I'm headed into Shady Sands to do some trading. Uh, perhaps I can just do in some goods. Oh, okay, cool. Um, what do you have for sale? Let me show you. He's got some... Okay, cool. He's got stim packs. He's got bullets. He's got irradiated fruit. Iguana on a stick. How much is a stim pack? Just one will be fine. Oh, gosh, it's 108. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm... I just friggin' started the game. It's too rich for my blood. Um, how about a scorpion tail? You like a scorpion tail? And how about, um... Anyway. I could, I could give him a combat knife. Let me see here. Thanks to your round. Wait, anyway, because if I equip this... Because they do roughly the same damage, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one and eight. One and eight, yeah. Don't sell the tail. Yeah, it's bartering system, so we have to trade goods of equal value, yeah. Alright, well let's use the club instead, and maybe we can do that. Alright, let's go back to the map. I guess we'll just head out of here. Catches who's a roving trader. Probably need the tail for the anti venom, right? <laughs> Alright. Back to Shady Sands. Is it still not freaking daytime yet? Oh shit. I need to unequip my weapons. Whoops. I'm lucky they didn't shoot me. How come it's always nighttime when I get here? Alright, um. I need to wait till morning. Okay. Here we go. Oh, you can sleep? Okay, cool. Uh, let me see. I have a sample of some of the rad scorpion poison. Uh, can you do something with it? Uh, let me see the sack. Uh, yes, I can uh, do something with this. Uh, here, take this as a free sample. Uh, it seems to work well against rad scorpion stings, of course. Uh, but it shows uh, such potential as a general anti-venom and poison cure. Cool. Sweet. Um, you are now level two. Sweet. Um, we we gained experience for helping make anti venom. Nice. Awesome. That's great. Oh gosh, look at those. Are those children? Or like fanatic zombies? I can't tell. They they're moving in very strange ways that make me uncomfortable. Um, 
I have been poisoned. Here, let's see it. You seem fine now. Uh, be careful in the future. Okay, can we do anything about healing? Of course you do. Let's see here. Uh, you were barely hurt. I suggest... Oh, wow. We actually... Oh, good. Good night, sleep and some... Okay. Cool, I didn't realize when we leveled up we actually gained health back. Nice. Alright. Let's see our new level. Oops. Character. Sweet, we got 15 skill points. Gotcha. Thank you, Squid. I really appreciate that. Ah, oh, gotcha. There'll be more coming. Gotcha. Alright, cool. So, um... Yeah. Let's go ahead and raise some things. I definitely need more melee stuff, so... Oh, man. Fucking 101% right away. Bam. There you go. What What is the neatest things in Fall 1 and 2? Uh, first aid. Ooh, maybe increasing first aid. In in-game terms, the use uh, of first aid can uh, heal more hit points. Oh, true, you can kill children. I forgot about that. Yeah, you can't do that in three, in uh, the rest of them. What's the difference? Okay. Oh, interesting. Huh. Base is 30%. Yeah, that'd be good to increase first aid, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Let's increase first aid. Cool, I think that's a good thing. Our, our friggin' melee weapon's at 101% and our first aid's gone, are gone up. Excellent. Done. Wonderful. Uh, let's see if I can barter a little bit here. Yeah, that's true. Uh, isn't, yeah, there's like a child killer perk. And isn't, isn't it like a, a picture of you kicking, kicking a pregnant woman or something like that? Bet that caused a lot of controversy back in the day. Oh, there's anti-venom. All right, I was going to sell the combat knife. I'm going to save everything else, I think. And we'll get, like, 40 caps out of it. Actually, can we type that in? 40? Oh, there we go. Done. There we go. Excellent. Um, offer. Wonderful. Oh, can you take more? Oh, you thought I would get paid for the rad scorpion? I'm just stopping by. Okay, cool. I think that level up is going to help us out majorly, though. Uh, maybe if, uh, maybe since I did a quest in town, maybe Ian will be more likely to talk to me now? Let me see. Help me out for a bit. Your experience can be useful. Nah, still the whole hundred caps thing. Okay. Really? The first aid skill allows you to heal yourself without any advanced items. Oh! No way! That's cool! Alright, I'll have to try that out and see how much we, uh... Oh man, we could go stim packless. That'd be amazing. Alright, um, but yeah, we need some loot, man. So let's go to Vault 15 again. Actually, let me check, uh, well, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'm not sure, yeah, if it had a reputation system, yeah, that's what I was sort of hoping on there, but, uh, that's alright. Okay, go back to Vault 115, uh, we could go to the entrance. Oh gosh, the thing's right over there! Um, okay, let me see if I can save game. There we go. Um, here. Um, I guess this is the, uh, Vinny G. Vault 15. There we go. Done. Um, I'm not really going melee build, um, although I could possibly use my gun. So actually, you do bring up a good point. I have it, so might as well use it for, like, long-range stuff. This isn't a two-handed weapon, is it? Okay, I think we're good. Alright, maybe... 
minus 40%. If we can get a good shot on him, that'd be really nice. Oh, interesting. Uh, there's no bobby pins for lockpicking. Interesting. You get lockpicks, and lockpicking will be much easier. Gotcha. Interesting. Alright, switch weapons. Use our club for right now. <laughs> it said squeak! Uh, the cave rat was critically hit for four points. The rat is seriously wounded by this attack. It screeches in pain. It exploded. End my turn. Oh, it's coming. Okay, switch. And 26%. Alright, let's roll some dice. I missed. End turn. 79%, but let's switch to uh, this now, right now. Let's see. Um, how can I... Hello? 95%. Ah, here we go. Nice, this is much easier. Now that I've increased the percentages. Alright, let's go for the eyes! Oh, darn. That's alright, let's swing at him again. Hey, nice. Oh, really? You can use explosives to blow up doors too? Nice. All right, let's do it again. For one point, end my turn. Really? You can shoot a gun and have enough AP to do a melee? All right, I'll have to try that. He missed. Alright, let's give that a try. So, let's try to shoot him. Hit for four points. And then, swing him. Ah, shit, wasn't enough. That's alright. We did a decent amount of points there. I was only hit for one point that time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, so not quite enough. I if I had one more, it would work out. For one point. Got him! Nice! Sweet, got 90 for that. Alright, let me see if I can. Uh... Oh, he doesn't have anything. Darn it. That's the mole rat, right? No, that's the cave rat. I, I want the mole rat. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay, there's the mole rat. Gotcha. Hi, stranger. <laughs> and hey, Quoscon, how's it going? Yeah, we, we pretty much just started um, our new Fallout series. We got out of Vault uh, 13. We were told to get a chip. Uh, we went to a small town called uh, Shady Sands, where they have a rad scorpion and raider problem. Uh, then we headed to another vault that they told us about that might have a water purifier chip. And, uh, and yeah, we sort of made our way down here, ran into this giant mole rat. It's a lesser mole rat. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Vault 15. Yeah, yeah. And, um, it was pretty wild, uh, because I could not defeat it the first time. My skills just weren't good enough. Uh, but I was able to take down a rad scorpion with a knife. I stabbed it in the brain. That was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we went back to Shady Sands, got, um, we got like, what was it? Um, oh, we brought back the, the Scorpion Tail. Yes, yeah, my first time playing it, yeah. Oh yeah? Alright, actually, you know what, let me try to do the whole first aid thing on me. You fail to heal anything. Alright, that's fine. I'm only missing a few health, so it's not terrible. Yeah, first time playing Fallout 1. Yeah, I'll take, like, tips and hints, but yeah, I avoid spoils for this. I do realize the game is, like, hella old, but still. Oh shit, are we under attack? Um... 
don't think so. There we go. Pick, pick it up. There we go. Now, let me see here. You got like a. Oh, there's a rat. Friggin' love that. Oh, time goes by when you heal yourself. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Got him. Okay, can we take a look at this computer? A lot is cracked and destroyed. Really, if you uh, continuously fail at healing yourself, you can kill yourself. Good to know, alright. Didn't get him with those two hits. Get my action points regenerate. There we go, smack him. I mean, target is out of range. It's right freaking there. Hit it. It squeaked. Again. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. Awesome. I think we're good there. All right. Don't really see a way to sort of move around here. It looks like we've taken care of all the rats. Um, what is in this room? An elevator shaft. We see elevator shaft. The elevator shaft cannot be descended without a rope. Gotcha. Alright, so we actually need to go back. But we did clear this place out, so that does make it easier. Okay, we're gonna need a rope. Use a ladder. Yeah, there we go. We are wasting a lot of time going back and forth. Oh boy. Alright, let me see here. Go back to Shady Sands. Okay, we got some sort of event here. Two rad scorpions. Oh boy, alright. Go for... The brain! Smacked it in the brain for four points. Five points. Smack him in the brain. Two points. Ooh. Okay, we're going to have to flee now. I took down one, but I guess I was lucky there. I mean, I'm curious. Severely wounded. I did a fairly decent job there. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Oh! I'm being poisoned. Aha. It stopped me before I died. Alright, take some anti-venom. You lost... 24 current poison level. Okay, that sounds good. And a stim pack. Okay, that'll help. Uh, let me go ahead and try to heal myself here. I'm 25% experience from honing my skills. I take damage from the poison. 
Doesn't seem like I healed myself very much there. Um, is this another traitor? I think it is. Hello again, what can I do for? Okay, uh, what do you have for sale? You have anything new? Not that I have anything new, really. Let's get some first aid stuff. Okay. Yeah, nothing really. I mean, actually, what are flares for? Are flares actually useful? Because if not, how much how much do uh, a floor create? Okay, rates of light for a short period of time. Um, so it's like a torch, basically. Okay. It's one forty for all those torches. Nice. Oh, it's increased accuracy in dark areas. Okay. Let's uh, let's sell two. see what we can do with uh I guess maybe grab some ammo is that JP okay oh wait what? 81 offer oh not good enough Does he have a rope? He doesn't have a rope. But no, you're right. I have to get a rope. Um, maybe I'll sell. Uh, I'll save these for for the yeah, cancel. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll save our money for the rope then. Okay. Oh, gotta unequip our weapons. Okay, uh, let me see here. Who had rope? Was it this guy? I thought I saw rope on somebody. Yes, he has rope. It's only 27, okay. So maybe sell like one of these? And then uh, we'll even that up with uh, some caps. Try to see if we can get some extra caps out of him. Oh, no way! Just, uh, just two. Okay, cool. Okay, let me, let me see here. 128 days left to get water, oh boy. That's alright, we got a rope now. to vault 15 actually uh, before we go I'm gonna make sure that I actually have a grenade equipped just in case those scorpions try to jump me again there we go has pit boy and put sticky notes on it right run nope that's that's too many scorpions right now Nope, 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 nope. Oh gosh, that's too close, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Run! Group hug! No! 
I don't think you can hug people if you have pincers. It's against the law. I'm not sure, Darth Gandalf. Yeah, I'm not sure what... Uh, it might be wizards uh, next week. Maybe, I'm thinking. But yeah, thanks for thanks for uh, coming by. Yeah, Fault One Grust. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to get a water chip for uh, for our vault that uh, sort of ran out of water here. So I just got a rope from a nearby village. I'm gonna do it. All right. So let me see here. Okay, the elevator shaft cannot be okay. Can I? See nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to maybe like use rope. You successfully sling the rope down the elevator shaft. Nice. Oh yeah. Well, thank you for the host, um, I'll just breeze. Thank you. I must have missed that uh, that thing earlier, but thank you for the host. I really appreciate it. All right, so let me see here. Oh gosh. Okay, so these are like smaller mole rats. Wow, this place is filled with rats. Oh, crap, and of course I uh, need to like re-equip this, which will take out some action points. I think I'm gonna wait this turn. Can I swing at it? Out of range. Smack it! Hit it for four. Oh, it's a pig rat. Okay. Interesting, a pig rat. Ooh, they actually hit. Cool. Okay, let's try to end turn. Oh, something sauce. It's another one of those pig rats. Okay. Let's see if we might be able to do a... I can hit it in the groin. <laughs> let's hit a pig rat in the groin. Ooh, I hit it for six points. And now I feel bad about it. <laughs> Alright. Got him! Fifty experience points. Nice. Ooh, friggin' hit me again. Got him! Gosh, I love bloody mess. Is there anything in here I could look at? It looks like just a bed and some stuff. But we cleared out the rats. I'm gonna need a little bit of healing though. Two points. I love the sound that the club makes though. You gotta you gotta admit that's pretty sweet. Oh shit. Yeah, that's that's hurting. Okay, let's try to him in the groin. Go for it! Pig rat groin. The pig rat was critically hitting the groin for two points. Did a little extra damage due to the sensitive location. Hit for one point. There we go. Hit for two points. But yeah, I don't think I don't have any stim packs left. <laughs> we're actually we're hitting rats in the nuts. With police clubs, which I think is the best part. Oh my gosh. Freaking brutal. Okay, let's do it again. In the groin! Uh, it's through Steam. Right? Yeah, I think I got this through Steam. Wow, I missed both times. Come on, get him in the groin. Here for two points. 
the widescreen patch? Um, uh, this is patched, the, uh, the current um, Fallout I'm using right now with the fixed patch, which is uh, F-I-X-T. Um, ooh, I got hit for a sizable amount there. Oh, really, is the GOG version a little bit um, more customizable in that way? Okay, missed both times. Four points, come on, hit him! There we go, now we're talking. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to use some first aid. Or something. I'm at 16 now. Fail to heal anything. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna have to actually use a gun here. Oh, not not a grenade. <laughs> a gun. It's only twelve percent. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I was told to use the restoration patch as well. It's 24. Gosh, I suck with small guns. Probably need to improve them for time being. Although these are small rats. I, I think as long as... Let me check something out here. I think we're done with the big pig rats. So I think we might be fine for like the rest of this layer. We'll have to see though. Alright, so let's see if we can just sort of... The rats come to us, make them waste their points, and smack them. Smack them again. There we go, smack them. Oh, beautiful. Okay, move like a little bit here. Oh really, excess AP, a, uh, action points are um, considered? Oh cool, I didn't know that, awesome. I just got into this, like today, so I really appreciate all of the, uh, the tips and hints. All right, nice. Seem to be doing well with this police club. Another rat's coming up for us. Wow. Damn, he hit me for four points. I didn't know rats could actually hit that hard. Oh boy. Um, that makes me rethink the situation a little bit. There's only a few more left on this floor. See if we get some lucky rolls, we can do it. Really, rats can hit harder than four? It's really been weird, actually. You see something in the darkness under the bed. Ooh, cool. To take a look at that. Oh, maybe we could hit the rat uh, for like something really awesome here. Let me see. Maybe we could hit him in the head. Wow! Holy shit, the cave rat was critically hit in the head for eight points. Uh, the rodent skull makes several unhealthy sounds. <laughs> Holy shit, that was awesome. Alright, I spotted something under the bed. Pretty bad condition. Uh, you see bed. Um... Hmm. You look again and don't see anything, you decide it, uh, uh, Shadow's playing tricks on your eyes. Okay, gotcha. Ooh, but there's a locker here. I didn't even see that before. I 
I searched the locker. Oh, hey. <gasps> no freaking way. A leather jacket and some rope. Awesome. Does this mean we can wear a leather jacket? Ooh. Armor class 13. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> awesome. Nice, our armor class went up. Fantastic. Oh, hey, I see a rat in this room. Hit him in the head. Nice. Smacked him. Oh, are we gonna need another rope to go down that elevator shaft? Oh, we might. Hit him in the head. seems to be working out well for us. Oh, was there... Is that a thing? I think that's a thing back there we might be able to loot. There for points. Nice. We hit me. Oh, it missed though. Good. I don't have that much health left. Ooh, I missed. Gonna have to wait a turn. Try hitting it in the eyes. It's beady little eyes. There we go. It exploded. Nice. Yeah, there seems to be like ammo or something there. Get it in its beady little eyes. Holy shit. That worked. Very well. Oh, I need more action points. Sweet. We got some point twenty two on it. Nice. Awesome. Alright, yeah. It looks like there's a, another level we're going to need a rope on. Let's see, let's see here. Sweet, excellent. Uh, successfully sling the rope down into the elevator shaft. Wonderful. Okay, um, I'm gonna make a save here. Let's go vault 15 level two. Okay, and then we'll go down it and see what happens, but uh, I might be in a bad position, so oh gosh. Yeah, no, we are not going down there right now. <laughs> Holy shit, let's, let's make our way back to Shady Sands.
Yay, it's back. Okay, that was weird. I had to plug and unplug my microphone. Gosh, remember when I had to do that all the time? Fucking hey. Oh, hey, my HP's back to normal. Oh. <laughs> Motherfucker. I probably should have just healed myself there or something, because... Freaking hey. Now I have to go all the way back. Okay, living quarters one, medical ward, command center. Oh, sleeping? Oh, okay, gotcha. Let's see how many how many days we've wasted thus far. 119 days left. Let me get the opinion of everybody in chat, because I'd hate to backtrack to the very beginning of the game. Um, is that doable? Or is this fucking impossible, what I've done right here? It's doable? Okay. Alright, it's doable. Alright. Very doable, some would say more than that. Thank you. That <laughs> leaves me at ease now. Um, oh shit, we're already under attack. Like upwards of five times the time needed? Wow. Okay, cool. Just be prepared and quick backtracking. Well, I don't... Okay, well, thanks for letting me know I can sleep now. <laughs> Let's see here. It's been the groin. I missed. Hit the three points. There we go. Seven points and was killed. Ooh, okay, so that guy's coming after us. I'm gonna wait for that guy, uh, but we'll turn around and the turn there. Since that guy's coming after us, I want him to waste his points. But yeah, you guys did tell me I could extend the, uh, the thing there. Serious wound was inflicted. Right, right, right. Yeah, once it hits zero, it is game over, so. Basically, I'm trying to avoid, you know, having to, like, go back to, like, my first save. Is what I'm saying. Okay, cool. Awesome. Now we got a nasty rat in that hallway. Um, let's end the turn. We'll try to entice these rats first. Ooh, okay. I didn't even see that guy. I mean, there are dudes called the water merchants, so that's probably where I'd go to. Hit for six points. Nice. Got him. go. Oh, darn, really? There we go. Got him. Oh, really? Uh, Cutscenes will show you the state of the water reserves? 
Yeah, this is a uh, Vault 115, yeah. Actually, are those two over there? Nah, it's not a huge uh, thing there. That's why. There are two of them though, which worries me. Ah, oh, damn. I don't think I should waste a grenade on them, though. I did take the bloody mess perk. Yeah, that's why they're exploding. It's the best part, really. Uh, let me actually switch to a gun, I think. would be better in this case. Even though I can barely hit anything with a gun. <laughs> Minus 2%. Yeah, okay, cool. Two percent, yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Okay, probably better off using uh, this. I think we're just gonna s like smack him twice. <laughs> Knocked him down. Him for four points. Him for another three. And was killed! Yay! Really? That's hilarious. The only thing it changes is the killing animations. I like that. Shit, I need to be one step closer. Damn, I can only get one hit out of this then. <laughs> Damn. For three points. Got him. Hey, like I see, yeah. The Fallout 1. Or the original Fallout, yeah. Oh shit, it's this guy. Um. I'm gonna wait on him. Unless, is there someone else trying to get here? Let me see if I can shoot him. Yeah, I think you can blind people, yeah. Okay, so that's not happening. Uh, let's go ahead and end the turn there. Have this guy walk towards me and waste his points. Oh wait, what? Isn't he right effing there? Yeah, he's right effing there. Um, what? Five action points needed. In turn. Oh shit, I vastly underestimated what the hell was going on there. Oh boy. Let's see if we can hit him in the eyes. Holy shit! I killed a greater Molara and one strike. Hot damn. Fucking A. I didn't. We need to increase our percentage then, because that's awesome. You like New Vegas? Yeah, I love New Vegas too. The eyes! Oh my gosh! Hit him in the eyes for 12 points. I wasn't going for the eyes because I thought it was low percentage, but damn. Let's check these lockers. We got dynamite, more grenades. Oh, hell yeah. I want all the grenades. You kidding me? Give me those. Holy shit, is that a 10 millimeter SMG? Yes, it is. Such viscera. <laughs> awesome. Nice. 
Are there uh, locks on the... Oops. Oops. Lockers on the other side or no? Okay, rocks. Yeah, I guess we, I mean, we we do have, uh, yeah, our melee weapon is 101, so I guess if we increase it even more than that, it'd be much easier for us to hit opponents in, uh, VATS mode, as it were. I'm not sure if it is, like, the same name or anything like that. I'm out of range! Okay, well, we're not doing that. We'll just move in by one and smack it twice. Okay, for four points... Nice, got him for six. Yeah, 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 based on uh, Van Buren. Right, right, right. Exactly. Oh, I should check the uh, the giant mole rat bear thing. Oh, it doesn't have anything. Just checking. Alright, let me just... Okay, we got a lot of rats going on. Try to check out where everybody is right now. There we go. Doing nicely. Actually, wait a second. Yeah, I've heard Wasteland 2 is a really nice uh, isometric uh, um, post-apocalypse game as well. Alright, I'll see you later, Bakur. Have a good one. For the eyes! Holy crap. I think there's still... There's like one guy over there. Thought he was there. Go for the eyes! Oh man. Just a normal strike for two points. Hit him again! For the eyes! Darn. Just a normal strike then. Got him. Oh yeah? Okay. Yeah, I was wondering about fault tactics. Cool. Got another rat down. This is a beat him up rat simulator right now. Although we did kill a scorpion. That was pretty cool. Oh, he missed. That's good. Hit him in the eyes. Missed. One point. There we go, eight points. All right, I'm just trying to check out what's going on in this area. So it seems like we've got a few mole rat bears. We could probably go in this area and not have too much problems. But yeah, we're probably going to want to look at some of these terminals. All right. Wow, okay. Oh yeah? Cool, cool. Yeah, Ion Zer does some great stuff. Okay, just checking out where people are. That's one thing that's great about it, is you can just sort of go around and be like, well, where are the opponents? Oh hey, is that like a safe in the wall? Ooh, he hit me. Here's Fury. Um... I guess a little bit, uh, Rooster Fury, yeah, the, the first Fallout. A little bit like, uh, XCOM game, sort of turn-based style, requires action points sort of thing. Okay, let's try to hit him in the eyes. Oh yeah! Exploded. Okay, 
Okay, we got some ammo. There is a guy, like, right there. Um... Can I... Can I... Not, can I hit him? I missed! Darn. We got a retaliation there, but he missed. Nice, got him. Let me see here. We got... 9 millimeter. Okay, 9 millimeter stuff. Um, let me see here. Monitor, worthless. Monitor's not functioning. Okay. Yeah, let me see this. What is that? It's a locker. What is that? A 44 Magnum. Okay, cool. Let's grab that. All of it. Sweet. Is that functional? Not functioning, okay. What is that? No, this. See a computer? Okay, nothing special about it though. Awesome. Oh, there's a rat coming by. It sees me. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, you can get these... Uh, in the summer sale right now, you can get these games really cheap. Okay, I have to wait a turn. Let's try to get him in the eyes! Yeah! It's a bit of a gamble, but that's really awesome. Okay. So there is a bigger guy in here that we're going to have to worry about. Let me see here. The rest of the vault in this uh, direction has derelict equipment that could probably be ruined, um, has probably been ruined uh, and destroyed. There is a very low chance that anything of value remains. Oh boy. <laughs> isn't that isn't that one of those games that was like considered one of the worst games of all time or something? Can we see her? Go for the eyes. Darn. Hit for six points. Oh shit! There's a guy coming from behind. Hit this guy in the eyes. Get him in the eyes! Nice! Did eight damage. Don't abuse the eyes. Dude, you get so much damage for it. Why not? The eyes are sacred. Not the eyes! Not my beautiful eyes. Dude, it works so great though if you can actually get away with it. See a computer. Oh, gosh, don't run to- Whoa, how'd I get through there and not have to fight these rats? Weird. Really, high gun skill plus eyes is easy town. Interesting. Okay. I think we just normally hit rats. Five points. Nice, got him. Yeah, you can. You can raise your uh, skills past 100. Uh, actually, currently, we have our melee weapons at 101. And you can kind of see that when I use uh, the advanced targeting. So when I go right-click on this and then click on my opponent. You can see that it's 66. But if I probably was to raise that even higher, it would be easier to like hit these guys. Hit them in the eyes! If I come across uh, some guy in blue pants and a leather jacket, don't stand in his firing line. Okay. It's good to know. But I can't do anything with these computers. Computer's not functioning. 
So really, there's there's nothing good here. Ah, oh, shit. Cracked and destroyed. Some monitors? Nope. Not functioning. Huh. Um. I'm a little bit stumped here. What should I be doing now? Because I sort of went down here. Uh, let me let me check uh, the quests. Get the water chip. Okay, well this place didn't have a water chip. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have a water chip, so. Bus. Is there anything else I should be grabbing from here before I leave then? So I think I've... Unless there's something to do with that wall. Oh hey, actually I think there's more ammo right there. Oh yeah, Meow Guy? Cool. Yeah, I, I've played a lot of Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, and I thought I might go and uh, check out the originals, and I'm actually really enjoying it so far. Ah, look at that. A lot of stuff here just hidden on the walls. It's nothing out of the ordinary wall. Right, Leo, right, right, so, yeah, the water chip doesn't look to be here. Is that a thing on the ground? Or is that like a stick or something? Oh, I got a level. What is this? I earned 500 experience. What, what did I do? I picked up a thing. Left shift can show you stuff on the ground. Oh, cool, thank you. Awesome, that's really helpful actually. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Um, it seems that the command and control center is buried um, even under even more rock. Uh, you will need to look uh, for the water tube elsewhere. Okay, cool, awesome. under my feet. What is that? Oh, it's a first aid book. Cool. Can I uh, read the first aid book? First aid book. Um. Oh, hey, it's a crowbar. Oh, man. <gasps> the crowbar's so much better, though. Holy shit. Ah, explore the entire area of Vault 115, gotcha. Holy shit, though. That's awesome. Actually, I wonder... Okay, I was wondering. If I, like, gain damage from having it be in uh, both my hands. Cool, though. That, that crowbar is going to be great. But yeah, how do I... Nothing. Uh, a study book, okay. Much of the information is pre-war, however, it is still able to, okay. Most fill in the, uh, most in the field practice on skills. Oh yeah? It's a, a little spiral book for Vault Dweller's Survival Guide? Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, when they had manuals for games, right. Switch cursor to use it? Ah, oh, here we go. No? two pounds. Hold right? 
That's just switching the things. That's picking it up. Ah, here we go. Um, what is that? Oh, there we go. You learn better wheels to heal injuries in the field. Nice. Awesome. Okay. That was weird. So that was that's how you like study slash use it. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you, that. That was uh very helpful. Ah, so it takes a little bit more to swing, uh, uh it takes a little bit more to swing the crowbar. Reading takes time. Cool. Oh, really? I can use that to heal companions in the future? Oh, that's great, actually. But yeah, I am noticing, like, say I was to use this. I'd only be able to use this, like, once per round. Which could be, uh... I mean, it is 3 to 12 as opposed to 1 to 8, so... That's still good. Oh gosh, am I under attack? Oh no, I'm not. Okay, just switched over. Alright, cool. So... I guess... Oh yeah, let me uh, look at the new level here. Character. Ah, cool, so I can pick a perk. Uh, because we leveled up. Can we see awareness? Uh, you've honed your ability to notice details about people in the world around you. For example, awareness will show you the exact number of hit points and weapon held by... Okay, that's very interesting. Um, earlier, uh, okay. You are more likely to move, uh, before your opponents in combat. Okay, your sequence. Okay, so su sequence is like initiative. Interesting. Cool. Faster healing. Let me see. With the level of this perk, uh, you will get a plus one bonus to your healing uh, rate, thus you heal faster. Cool. Night vision. Okay. See better in the dark. Each level will reduce your overall darkness level by 18, or sorry, 10%. Oh, I can save my perk point if I don't like anything here. Okay. Uh, you've learned to better uh, store your equipment for uh, on your person. With each level of this perk, the AP cost to access inventory and combat is reduced. Smooth talker. Okay. Learn to increase their options in dialogue without understanding uh, what they're talking about. Uh, each level of this perk uh, will increase your... Um... What is in? Intelligence? By one? For any purposes of dialogue only. Interesting. So yeah, so you don't run up to somebody with a shotgun, right, right. And quick pockets is good for using stim packs. Strong back, aka mule. Uh, you can carry an additional 50 pounds of equipment for each level of this perk. And swift learner. Uh, you are indeed a swift learner with this perk. Uh, each level will give you an additional 5% bonus whether you, um, to earn. Okay. So I think I'm not going to pick a perk right now and save it for later. We'll save that. All right. Min-max build. All right, so let me see here. I think... I've been told that low end is basically hard mode, though, so I'm probably not going to be doing that right away. Um... Not even FEV could help you, right? Um, I mean, we could increase melee weapon stuff a tiny bit. I, I think I kind of want to bring up small guns just because I am seeing that it would be nice to have like an opening strike of firing at somebody and then having them crawl towards me and then ending them with a crowbar. So I think I'm going to increase this to at least 50. Yeah, I think that. Then, um... Yeah, maybe that, and then one more point in melee. Cool. 
What if I've got a lock pick? Well, I'm shit out of luck. Done. We're going for a pretty heavy melee build. Okay, so... Hmm... Really? That's hilarious. The speed run makes uh, speech like 250. That's crazy. Alright, so... I guess we'll go back to Shady Sands. Idiot playthrough plus melee is not very fun. You can't do a lot of quests and a lot of grinding. Gotcha. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. Freaking ambushed by scorpions. Did we get... Yeah, we did get poisoned. Oh, gosh. Shit. Welcome to Fallout 1 Random Encounters. I know, friggin' right. <laughs> right, Legacy, holy shit. Just like, <laughs> welcome to the game. Here's a horde of scorpions. You're gonna have to be smart if you want to be, like, still live. Oh, really, Leo? Interesting. Alright, so the only thing I can really think of currently is we pretty much need to go see the, uh, like the water merchants to basically extend my time because I am so clueless of what to do. <laughs> so maybe we'll talk to Ian again, see if I can't get specific instructions on where to go to find um, the hub. Oh, really? Like Fallout 3, you get uh, endings for each place you visit. Cool. Awesome. Oh, uh, let's make sure we unequip our weapons. Oh wait, is there a hub button? Oh, my bad. Freaking little kids running with their heads screaming. Okay. Tina? Alright. Yeah, because I think he, yeah, he already gave me directions. He's still asking for a uh, hundred caps. Anything to barter with, though? He's got two stim packs. How much is this worth? Only 30. Um, I could probably get some caps for that, though. Got a decent amount of ammo. Alright, let's, let's try to get some caps for this. Actually, I can just go, what, 30? There we go. Done. Offer. Nice. It's like this small little ant biting me. The hell did I do to you? <laughs> yeah, charisma check, yeah. Alright, so yeah, the... Yeah, there's the hub, okay. I'll be, I'll be honest, I thought it was the cub, and I'm like, that's not the right place at all. <laughs> So, is there a way to like sort of locate these areas before I, I click on them so that I don't like accidentally go up and end up trying to fight raiders? Actually, before I go ahead, while I save, that'd be a good idea. Right, right. I mean, to a certain extent, I suppose you could just say, you know, like, people in Megaton live near like a frickin' nuke because they praise Adam. But there's a lot of other people who do praise Adam that live there. 
That's one of those weird things where, like, civilizations can sort of turn up in very odd places because of, like, where people, like, band together and, like, protect each other. That one is just the weirdest place, though, ever. <laughs> oh, I can ask questions around towns? Yeah, I might want to do that before I leave to see if uh, anybody knows where I can get some more water. Uh, let me see here. Uh, leaving a little water. Let's have that as a description. But yeah, let me, let me ask around and see if somebody doesn't know. Ooh, here we go. Welcome to Shady Sands Traveler. My name is uh, Katrina. Uh, my job is uh, to greet strangers and help them understand our village. Uh, we find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Okay. <laughs> right, Quos Cone. Holy shit. I didn't know you were strategizing taking down Megaton. Friggin' A. Alright, I'm looking for a water chip. Uh, seen one? Uh, as a matter of fact, yes. Uh, my old home, Vault one, uh, Vault 15, we already went there though, had one. Um, I hadn't seen it there since um, I was... Oh, sorry. Let me see. Yeah, I haven't um, been there since I was hurt, uh, but you might find what you're looking for there. Uh, someone said that they tried to go to the vault and look around, but it was uh, dark and the elevator was broken. Um, I hope you're better prepared. Okay. Tell me about the rest of the world. I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from a vault uh, when it was attacked. Unfortunately, uh, I was hurt, and I do not remember what, what happened. Uh, but Dharma was uh, watching over me. And I was found uh, by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. I have, have you uh, spoken with Ian yet? Uh, he is a merchant uh, guard who was hurt. Uh, he's recovering in the guardhouse over there. Uh, she points to the east. He is more lively, widely traveled than I. <laughs> Alright, let me see here. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. Uh, I mean, we can see if she has any cool barter things. What's that? I see bag. Okay. That's fine. That's all I need to know for now. Hmm. Interesting. Don't bother me. Well, damn. Oh yeah, wasn't this the guy that didn't want to be talked to? Hey, you didn't turn out to be such a bad person after all. Have a nice day. Wow. What an almost nice person. Okay. Start talking to some other people. Okay. Still need to expand the irrigation. I welcome to Shady Sand Stranger. Okay. Okay. Just checking to see if anybody else has anything else to say. Hi. Right now, I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? Her voice is so familiar. I must I like I hear that voice actor a lot. All right. Uh name's Vinny wow. G. How do you like our little town? Bored yet? Uh, let me see here. It's okay. Can I ask a few questions, though? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, <laughs> what you need? All right, let me see here. Uh, what else is around? There's a place? bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. Okay. No problem. Anything else? Let's see here. Heard of any stories from down south? Just stuff. <laughs> okay. No problem. Anything else? Uh, what's going on around here? We got rad scorpions. I mean, I know it's not a good thing, but no one's died from the stings. 
And it's the closest thing to excitement we've got here. Okay. Uh, how do you like yeah, to hear? It's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all. But it's so boring. You know, I want to see the world. Yeah, yeah. Let me see here. Uh, if you're bored, um, why don't you leave? Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone. No one else wants to go. And worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. All right, let me see here. All right, tough situation. Can I ask a few sure, questions? Sure, I guess. Then? I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, all what right. you need? I think that's all pretty much. That's about it. Uh, thanks for your time. Actually, let's try to barter. You have anything cool? Normal combat knife. Okay. That's about it. Thanks for well, your time. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, see ya. All right, cool. So she really couldn't tell us much there. Uh, I think that leads to the farms. Let's go see if maybe we can't talk to Eridesh again. Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? No, it looks like he has the same sort of stuff again. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, let me talk to these people. Okay. Uh, I'm too busy to talk right now. Uh, I have to get this meal ready. And that smells really good. Uh, I bet it tastes great. Uh, Why, well, thank you. I'm sure um, you will enjoy it. Uh, thanks for the compliment. Now, um, I'm going to tell my friends about you. Okay, cool. Peasant. Brahmin burgers. Brahma burgers? Oh gosh. Okay, let me see if maybe I can talk to the doctor, maybe? He also has a maybe an assistant I can talk to? Okay, I don't think I need any healing. Just stopping by. Okay. How about you? No, I'm not in need of healing. Okay. Alright, so nothing else here, really. Alright, cool. So I guess we'll head out then. Okay, so I guess we'll go to the hub then. Because the only thing I can think of is maybe getting water from the water merchants. Oh gosh, it's way the F down here. Jeez. Okay, good, I unequipped my stuff. Good. Um, 105 days left. All right. Still makes me nervous. Okay, let me, like, talk to some people here. I guess how can I be of service? Uh, could you tell me where I could find a water chip? A water chip? I never heard of one of those. Uh, what are all these carts doing here? These are caravans that I'm guarding. The merchants uh, cart goods um, to just about all the corners of the wastes, junk town, brotherhood, uh, shady sands, and numerous other places. Cool. guys let's let's take the uh let's take the uh the, the the conversation to a little bit less like 
don't know how to explain it. Basically, stop complaining. <laughs> I know certain practices of certain video game industries don't exactly cater to personal sort of views of what future games should be like. Like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we can't turn the whole chat into let's complain about Bethesda or whatever. <laughs> Alright, let me see here. Let me see here. It's like a caravan I saw earlier. Did I see a caravan earlier? What is it you trade? Well, lots of stuff, general uh, stuff people need to live. Food, water, lots of water. Water's probably the scarcest commodity in the waste. Hmm. He doesn't know. Where could I go to get a job, maybe? Okay, you can just ask um, just about anyone in the hub, or you can check out the job bulletin boards. There are a few um, of them around the hub. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, goodbye. <laughs> yes, Quid. No, it's just sometimes, like, here. This is how I look at it, Squid. It's basically one of these things where I can see chat basically going into the dark places of, like, basically being like, there's no future for, for this company or this company because they're driving them into the mud and all this sort of stuff, and then it basically just turns into, like, this hideous mess of everybody with conflicting views of what the future of certain video game companies can be. And sometimes it gets really heated. It's, it's happened to my channel before, so I like to... Nip it in the bud if I can. <laughs> Who are these guys? Stand in the middle of the road like that. This is the Maltese Falcon for, uh, care for refreshments. Cool. Or criers. Okay, we got some, like, corn and stuff like that. I guess we're gonna have to check out a few buildings, but it is nighttime. Um, let me try to wait till day. Right, right, yeah. Anytime there's change with any video game or anything like that, there tends to be people that, that get triggered because change is bad and whatnot. <laughs> Basically, I couldn't fu Normally, I'm very eloquent in a way to sort of stop that whole thing, but I just, I couldn't even... <laughs> the words just didn't come to me quick enough. Hey, I'm CTOZ, how's it going? Yeah, first playthrough. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people told me Fallout 1 um, and 2 is really good, so yeah, I wanted to try them out. I know, I'm also worried about that, Leo, but let's let's save that for, uh, for another time. But yeah. And hey, Janara. But yeah, uh, let me see here. Yeah, I think we have to wait till morning. Janara, my cousin, how's the house, yo? Oh, it's good, Janara. Freaking, oh. <laughs> holy shit, fantastic! I just, wow, that it threw me off there for a second. Is it gonna get lighter? I may need some hints because I am kind of lost right now. I'm supposed to be finding a water chip. I only have 105 days left. And for some reason, it's not actually morning. Like, at this point, like, I'm asking random people. And it's, like, usually something I do, too. the main road if you're looking for the market. Ooh, let's go to the market. How come it's so freaking dark out, though? Also, where the hell am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. Let me see. Uh, 
Uh, do you have any commodities to declare? Okay, what the hell is this area? Can I not see a door? Is that the leather, the guy in the leather jacket with the blue jeans that I shouldn't be in firing range of? But didn't I make it like 6 o'clock in the morning? Oh, I guess it'll lighten up soon. Let me save just in case because I'm worried. Talk to this guy, see what we can do here. Let's see. Hey there, how you doing? My name is um, Dimitri, uh, Dimitri uh, Ramara. Uh, head of the best damn caravan in the wastes. Are you looking for a job? You look pretty strong. Alright. Yeah, so? Uh, that's just what we're looking for. Uh, you like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipping around your head, um, blowing your enemy into two. Oh gosh. What is it? Yeah, in two. Uh, seeing the fear in their eyes. Ah, oh, that's the life. You look like the kind of person that could serve us well and pay well. And we pay well. Oh yes, you. Uh, we do. We just had a few openings if you're interested. But of, um, of course, are you? Um, of course you are, right? Um... I need a water chip. A water chip? Hmm, I haven't heard one of those before. You might want to check one of those shops outside. Um, they have lots of stuff. So did you want the job? Hmm. Oh, gosh, what? What was... Did you put a link? Oh, oh, gotcha, okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> to to avoid it, don't even put, like, .net at the end of things. Sometimes MoveAuto will say, it's a website, and do that. Oh, he does it the same model? Gotcha, interesting. Okay. Alright, cool. So, let me see here. Uh, well, what's it pay? Uh, we pay 600 bucks a job. Wow. Um... That's each way. Hell, people say uh, we take all the dangerous routes, uh, but I say it's the most exciting. Um, you need a little excitement in your life. Am I right? Of course I am. Um, do you always talk so loud? Um, I probably should look for the water chip, so I'm going to say no thanks, bub. Bub? What the hell are you talking about? Well, no skin off my back. Alright, we'll go back to that guy later. Alright, now he said there's like guys outside who might sell water chips? Of course, I kind of doubt that. What is that? Okay, some sort of traitors in here. Let's talk to this guy maybe. Here we go. Hello, welcome to the Fargo Traders. How can I help you? Oh, can you transport water? Uh, we can transport water, uh, but it will cost you. How much do you need, um, and where is it going? I need enough to supply a vault. Uh, it's up north past Junktown in the mountain, or I need it all. Someday I'm going to transform the face of the planet, you'll see. Oh gosh, that second one sounds crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, a whole vault. Are you nuts? Uh, we don't have that kind of access uh, to that much water. Plus, uh, I wouldn't want to go into those mountains. Uh, we've had enough missing caravans. Okay. Uh, you don't? Is there someone else who can? Oh, sorry. Uh, you're not from around here. The water merchants handle all the damn water uh, in this town. I wouldn't even bother trying to deal with them. They're a bunch of vultures. Uh, where can I find them? You can't miss them. They're south of here, all barricaded uh, with that damn water tower. Uh, okay, thanks. Alright, so let's go see the water merchants, I suppose. 
Bob's iguana bits. Guns. Okay, let's keep going south then. Oh yeah, there's the water merchants. Cool. Alright. Let's go talk to them. Some of them may know where a water chip is though. Let's see. There's a lot of people in that room. Is there? It's just an empty room. Smokes. These caravan trips are getting too dangerous. Talk to you. I don't care what they say. Uh, we need new parts. Oh yes. Sorry. What can I do for you? Do you have a water chip? Water chip? Hmm. Oh, those old vault purifying control chips. Well, I, uh, I'm sure I speak for the entire town uh, when I say, oh, you won't find one here without the proper equipment. Uh, they're worthless. Only a vault, uh, or maybe a necropolis, would have um, any use for one. Why do you ask? Hmm. Interesting. Necropolis, why would uh, they need one? Well, it's a uh, guess, really. Uh, we tried to start a caravan route with necropolis ones, uh, but they refused to trade with us. Nobody in their right mind refuses water these days. Uh, unless they have a reliable supply. I figure they must have their own purifier, or they would have died out a long time ago. So are you looking uh, to have us uh, go up to your vault? How much will it cost me? Well, it's uh, quite a distance away, 2,000 caps. Uh, I don't have the caps, I'll come back when I do. Okay, let me talk to her again, because she also... Okay, so she mentioned Acropolis. Does she have anything else to barter? Stim packs, 21 caps. Really don't have anything else to sell, I suppose. Okay. Cool, so she says Necropolis might have one, or else they they would be using uh they'd be using the water merchants more. Alright, we could we could try to venture out and find Necropolis, I suppose. see here at least that's a good lead right now although the way it sounds we might actually just be stealing a water chip from like from some people which well I guess sucks to be them in this case this town is a bookstore okay I might have to check that out could be some skill books or maybe some more stuff we can uh, look at. Necropolis. Is that right over here? Yes, it is. Oh, we got a random event. Scorpions! Run! Oh, ow. Damn. Run! Right, person with a ton of books might be a good info broker. Right, right. I do apologize if I might be infuriating a few people who, like, know the route to go in Fallout 1. I'm not a person who normally chats up everybody in town. Like, at all. Unless I previously know how a quest goes, I usually avoid talking to, like, people in town. Uh, and pretty much go on adventuring and, like, going through dungeons and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, this one's gonna require a lot more, sort of, conversing.
gotta get out of here. Yeah, let's go check out Necropolis. Got out. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, that's what second playthroughs are for, right? Second playthroughs are for making sure you do it, uh, uh like, you know, correctly the next time. Um, let me see here. What's the fat? I guess the fastest escape route would be down. But I guess I'm gonna... Oh gosh, this is a terrible place. Holy shit. I'm gonna go maybe this direction. And then down. Hopefully that guy... Oh, thank goodness he didn't hit me. Also, I forgot to equip weapons. I just want to point that out. I'm such a noob at this game. Get away from that scorpion. Oh, the poison left my system. Oh, rad scorpions hunt the mole rats in the city. But they care more about me. How lovely. What is our timer nowadays? Oh, not available in combat, gotcha. while to get away from enemies. Those mole rats are doing absolutely nothing right now. And scorpions on my tail. Get out of there. There we go. Now let's check out Necropolis. Okay. Hotel of Doom. A zombie ghoul. Huh. Zombies? A lot of stuff to loot in there. Assuming these are actual zombies. Mouse over the ghouls indoor and out. Oh, wait. Can you speak with them? Oh, shit. Wait, what? No, no, that was a lie. That was a lie. It looked like you could. Let's see how tough zombies are. Now, if I swing, it's probably better to swing for five here. Target's out of range, really? The head, the eyes, the torso, the groin. Let's go for the groin. Can you hit a zombie in the groin? Ghoul was critically hit in the groin for nine hit points. Ouch, that had to hurt. Back up, uh, back up the space. Ghoul missed. Uh, 
How does it look? Uh, let me see. He looks severely wounded and has crippled limbs. Hey, Jadis, how's it going? Good to see you. Wait, didn't you come in the room? No. <laughs> Groin shots, right. Um, let me try to hit this dude. I could have been in the groin again, although I feel like that would be really mean. Let's go for the head. Ooh, I missed. Shit. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to... Let me back up two squares. If I back up two squares, they can't hit me. Actually, this is kind of nice. I actually outrun them a little bit. So I think even with, like, one of these shots, I can sort of, like... I think target's out of range. Okay, go for a normal hit here. Oh, no, no. Normal hit. Cancel. Five hit points. Move away for two. <laughs> yeah, Leo, that would be amazing if they brought back groin attacking bats. I still want to see dual wielding. That's going to be one thing I'm really looking forward to. Move for six points. Uh, move back two squares. And my turn. Okay, let's go for a precision strike here. The eye slot, that'd be good too. Double groin attack! Oh, in the groin for four. I guess it doesn't hurt as much the second time around. Um, you know, I didn't mind the building system, Squid, in, in Fallout 4. I just think, um, the sort of unfortunate thing that happened in 4 is that it, um, it was overused, right? Like, without pre- say, say Preston didn't exist, right? Building would have been like a fun little thing you check out and it wouldn't have actually been like forced on you. But, uh, but I, I'd like to see return of the, uh, of the settlement system. I think one thing that might make the settlement system better is if in the next Fallout it was more of a faction grab. So like, there's actually a map and it shows like basically boundary lines and you want to expound your settlement boundaries so you have more area of the map. Uh, and that basically the lines can sort of be uh, moving back and forward depending on if you successfully defend your settlements or not. I feel like that would be a lot more dynamic and a lot cooler to sort of see change in the game as opposed to Oh, it got attacked. Now you have to waste some time to repair it. Uh, let's go for the torso. He's dead. Yeah, that's just my personal opinion, though. Uh, I think I'm going to move one square backward. Wait a turn. Oh, target's out of range. I'm gonna have to move forward. In the groin! Seven points in the groin. Damn. Oh, shit. Didn't move enough there. Right, right, right. Exactly. Uh, let me see here. Go for the torso. Ooh, it knocked him back, actually. Cool. And I hit him for 12 points. Wait, what? Oh, no way. He hit me and I got a mild dose of radiation. Oh, shit. I'll have to avoid that. Gosh, there's a lot of ghouls around here. I mean, I can easily out sort of maneuver them by just moving two squares, but this could take some time. All right, let's uh, move two squares back. Have to move one square forward again. Let's uh, hit him in the torso. Got him. Sweet. Let's uh, end combat here. 
Really? Crowbars can be used outside of combat for doors. Ooh, that's really cool. How much uh, experience did I get for that? Wait, what? Did it? What? Oh, I, I think there's a ghoul after me. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, someone's actually after me. Hmm. Oh, end the combat? Okay, gotcha. Alright, I thought someone was after me. Oh, cool. I need experience. Nice. But yeah, no, I did see someone in here had, like... That guy is like a baton or something, so there's there's some ghouls that actually have like some sort of weapons equipped. It's kind of nasty. There's a lot of them though, damn. Freaking A. I mean, I guess I can take them down. It looked like the torso hits were the way to go for these guys. Let me see if there's a good doorway. I guess that's the doorway, maybe? Right, Squid, yeah, I, I was- that- that pissed me off, too. That- that was something I was not fond of, is the fact that the- the DLCs included little add-ons for the settlement system when they could have, with that time, maybe included another mapped adventure. I thought it was wasted potential that modders could have easily done. I can actually shoot them for 52%. I missed. Okay, I might be able to get some extra points out of here. Hit for 12, nice. Might have to back up. Well, I think Hearthfire was a little bit different in Skyrim, but that was definitely... Like, it is actually kind of hilarious. I think um, maybe a week before Hearthfire came out, a modder came out with a, a mod that basically did the exact same thing that Hearthfire did. <laughs> So, you know, it's 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 one of those things where, uh, you know, it's it's tough to outcompete modders in some cases. Um and so, you know, sometimes there's the whole like argument of what came first, the mod or the DLC in some cases, but like you know, it's it's yeah. <laughs> there's there's no good way really. Everybody gets a little bit um pissed off in that case. Alright, so that guy's the weakest. I think maybe I could take him down with a shot. Or I miss. Back two spaces. Sixteen. Come on, get him. Really? He can take up to twenty yeah, twenty-two health. He has more. Right, true, yeah, there was there was a mod, uh, yeah, there was a mod to make vaults and then they had the vault DLC, yeah. That, that's a tough one, it's a really tough one. Because it, it is almost like you have to get, like, both their, like, when was the first day you worked on, uh, on your files or something, because otherwise, like, you have no idea. Let's go for the 72, wait, what? 72 to hit the torso? Nice, that's good. I don't think I can do that again, though. Oh, I gotta reload? That's dangerous. For 11. Yeah, we're still out of range. But I'm gonna have to... Move two paces backwards and then shoot again. 72, 72. There we go. Okay, 
back up two spaces. Missed. Okay, I'm gonna back up one space and then switch to melee. Because I think, yeah, I'll be able to hit them now. No, one space. Win the torso. Nice. And then a space back. No, 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 same way Squid, yeah, I, I, you know, sometimes, yeah, like, I, I really enjoy Fallout 4 as well. I actually really like this game, Quos Um, it's, it's actually grown on me a lot more than I thought it would. Um, I do seem very lost, and I am very lost. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing, um, but I actually like it. There's there's a lot of difficulty and strategy um, that I'm really enjoying right now, especially with sort of a melee build that I'm going for. Um, but yeah, normally I had like some sort of strange ad aversion towards uh, like isometric games, but uh, I think this might be curing it slightly. Go for the torso. We have to move back two spaces. Torso again! Four points. Move over two spaces. Oh! He got me! You have a small dose of radiation. What an asshole. Get him in the groin. Wow. Ghoul was critically hit in the groin and uh, blow knocks him to the ground. Oh shit, I didn't think uh, that would happen. The torso. Actually, we could hit him in the head. Let's do that. Nice. End combat. Nice. 135 experience. 101 days left. Cool. How's my experience like? Alright, still not choosing a perk yet. I'm sort of saving up. Okay, so we've got, like... <laughs> We got a ways to go before the next level. Right, right, Squid, yeah. Oh my, Squid, for now. But no, no, I, I understand, yeah. Back in the day, right, you would either have some sort of, like, actual physical magazine or guide. Um, or it would be like, basically you'd have to go, like, to recess and, like, ask your friends, like, what they did. Okay, I'm getting a better idea of what's in this building. It's a lot of ghouls. So, I'm just gonna, like, put this out right now. How does, like, I feel like this place is actually too difficult. For right now, like, I've defeated some dudes, but, like, I feel like if I'm gonna clear this place out, it will actually take, like, hours upon hours. Should I come back here later when maybe we're more prepared? Ooh, can I actually go into the sewers? Ooh. Are there other sewer grates I can go in? Yeah, otherwise it seems like it's gonna... Oh, wait, wait, there's a sewer right here. Let me see if I can go in. Oh cool, we're in the sewers. Works up some caps and get Ian maybe, yeah. Yeah, coming more prepared, yeah, I thought that as well. Let me see what's in the sewers though. This looks cool. Oh gosh, that's a lot of those things. Seems like there's some bodies here. Maybe we could uh, loot some things. Oh shit. It's coming for us. Let's 
spread it from there. Let's see if we can't get in the eyes. The eyes! Hit for seven points. Go for the groin! Got him! Pretty mole rat killed. Nothing. Okay. Okay, there's a ladder there. So we could check that out. Oh, we got some bodies. Nice. Nothing on that guy. You would explode if someone you go to the right. Uh, no, nothing on him. Oh, he's got... What is that? A knife? Cool. Loot! That's what we need. We need loot! Small rocks. There's another ladder. Is there something farther down this hallway? Yes, no. Wait, don't shoot. Thank you for not shooting first. Uh, can I help you get anything? Um, sure, who are you? Uh, I'm the leader of the uh, simple people who were left the surface uh, because of the others. Uh, who's forced you to live down here? The surface uh, of Necropolis and the water controlled by uh, Set and his ghouls. Um, we are a much more peaceful group, um, which disgusts Set. Oh, interesting. There's like violent ghouls and non-violent ghouls. A closer examination, these are still rocks. Let me see. Who is Set? Set is a ghoul like us, uh, but he assumed uh, a certain amount of power uh, in the above world. Uh, he is an oaf. Uh, why does he let you survive down here? He does not speak of it, however, Set is afraid uh, of not having enough people to defend Necropolis. Uh, if it ever needed it, um, oh, if it ever needed it. So he gives us what water we need. Interesting. Where does all this water come from? Up until recently, we pumped our water from the ground with a pump uh, in the watershed. Uh, what is the watershed? It is where all the water is stored and handed out to us. Uh, where is it located? The watershed is to the north. Uh, you'll need to take the sewers to get there. Thanks. Um, you aren't planning... Uh, you're not thinking of taking the water chip from us, are you? Uh, <laughs> me? No! I would never do such a thing! I'm just going to see how it all works. Um, I do not think that I believe you. Um, it would suck to take water away from these guys, but... A lot of them are assholes. I'm sorry I did not mean to deceive you. Uh, what is wrong uh, with taking the water chip? Uh, if you take the water chip from us, then uh, we will all die. Uh, with our water pump broken, uh, we need to survive. Is it possible that your pump could be fixed? Uh, that may be difficult. The parts you need to fix the pump uh, were lost in the sewer under the watershed. Uh, why is that so difficult? The sewers are filled with monsters. Uh, none of my people uh, that I have sent to retrieve them have come back. Are you willing to retrieve the parts uh, so that the water pump can be fixed? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, when you get the parts returned here, um, it is possible that I can help you further. Okay. Okay, I'll be on my way then. Alright, awesome. So, it seems like... Would that be a stealer? Quest! Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like we can actually repair their um, their water thing and maybe uh, take the chip once we repair uh, their water pump. Cool.
He said it was up north and you could only get there through the tunnels. I don't really want to go up that way right now. Okay, looks so like we're going this way. Okay. Made our way to the other tunnels. Hmm. Looks like we might have to go above ground and then go below ground again. Oh, there's... Can you go even deeper? Deeper? Don't know. Um, let me save again. Let's see. Micro... Let's see where this leads. Hey, that derp Joe. Yeah, yeah, and Fallout. Yeah, and Fallout 1. Uh, or the original Fallout. But yeah, um, we're trying to... Oh gosh, what is that? You see Larry. So yeah, we're basically trying to help fix a water pump so that we can help fix our water pump. Oh, really? As a time-saving measure, the ghouls outside the buildings only attack you if you get too close. Cool, thank you for letting me know. Alright, um... Here, I need to look at this again to gauge, like, what the distance is for the sewers. Unless... Oh, there's a sewer grate over there. I think we might be able to sneak out of here. I might have to take two of these guys out, though. Okay, no, it doesn't look like they care. Right, let's see if we can uh, use this sewer grid over here. Okay. Yep, it looks like we're in the right area. I guess. Uh-oh. Under attack by rats. Shit. Of course, I freaking. Well, actually, that would be interesting to be dueling a crowbar and a knife if I want to make use of, like, a lot of stuff. Huh. Oh, shit. Okay, let's just smack him with a crowbar. Huh. It didn't kill you. But yeah, that might be a good way to do this. If I want to just go double melee, I could switch over my other blade and hit for three. Dual wielding! Let's give it a shot. And combat? Crowbar and a knife! And then I hit for four, then hit for three. Okay. That might that might work. Alright, I kinda have to plan where to go next though. Honestly, not even freaking sure. <laughs> right, let's keep going this way. Oh, there's a rat freaking right next to me. Okay. Hit him with the crowbar. He's down. Switch to the knife. Remember the mighty left shift key. Right, right. Um, I'm not sure, Squid, yeah, in the newer, like, when Bethesda took on Fallout. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, actually, which, um... Okay, I thought he would be there. Huh, I wonder. Yeah, what did they what did they add? I'm trying to think. There's a lot of stuff that was already in the lore already before uh 
before a lot of the creatures, so... Maybe the Abominations, the aliens in uh, the Fallout 3 um, DLC with the aliens that were sort of a mixture between humans and aliens? Maybe that? Super Mutant Towns? Okay, yeah, that's another one. Yep. That's another one. Spaces. And I have five points. Alright, let's go for it. In the eyes! Oh, I missed. I get maybe synths to a certain extent, at least in the Fault 4 sort of way. Go for the eyes! Wow, dead. Right, right, yeah, they were originally Easter eggs, right? Um, I'm gonna need to heal myself. I healed one hit point! Yay! I'm just trying to check where all the enemies are. Alright. Just make our way to this ladder and see what's up here. Oh, there's a rat. Oh no, no, not the, not that. Just normal strike. He's dead. Actually, yeah. Let me check the left shift key. Doesn't. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. There's something back there. Well, let's get it. Did they create bloat flies? Yeah, I'm not sure. Geckos were already in the game. Well, yeah. I guess technically Fault in Vegas added the plant monsters, right? They added the, the fungal infected uh, people and the crazy Venus flytrap things. Although I'm not sure, because maybe there's stuff in the first uh, couple of faults that did that too. Oh gosh. Dead. But yeah, I think I'm going to need a lot more healing if I'm going to be taking on two of these guys. Cazadors, yeah, Cazadors are our new. They weren't in the previous fallouts, right? That's true, yeah, Abomination Reese can write, right? I guess squid, yeah, I guess in a certain sense, but like differing from Fallout 1 and 2, I say, that, that, that would, those would count as new creatures, I guess. Do I really not have any... I don't have any stimpacks. I do have a flamethrower. Is it time for me to use a flamethrower? It might be. Also the 10mm SMG. I say let's get the attention of a few rats here and then see what we can do about these uh, these dudes. Because, yeah, I might. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, it's on me. Oh, yeah, I guess blood bugs and sting wings are, are new as well. New in Fallout 4. Yeah, that works. Really? Flamethrowers crit a ton? Really? I wouldn't have thought that. Oh, shit, it's on me. Welp, it's here. I'm out of range. Welp, I guess we're going for it. Hit in the eyes! Oh, thank goodness. That could have been awful. End combat? Ooh. Cannot end combat. Um, end turn? 
Can I in combat now? Okay, good. Yeah, I kind of want to heal up a little bit. Although, yeah, it doesn't look like... I think I might have to go in with the flamethrower. I'm glad I have one. Desperate situation. I'm assuming this is like a two-handed weapon. Yeah, flamers, okay. Model, flamethrower, um... Yeah, okay. Variation sprays ignites a short blast of flammable liquid. Requires specialized fuel tank to work properly. Tends to cause biological targets to die painfully and hilariously. <laughs> Min strength 6 that has 5 of 5 shots, okay. Alright, let's do this. It was right effing there, and I didn't even see it. Eighty-five percent. Oh, really? Quick draw slots? Interesting. Oh, the slots aren't your hand, so you don't have to worry about primary weapons and secondary. Okay, cool. Greater Mole Rat was hit for sixty points and was killed. Holy shit! <laughs> Wow! Okay. Holy shit! Yeah, we're, we're gonna want to save that. Hot damn, that is amazing. I was just using that because I didn't want to die and I'm at like 15 health, but... Hot damn. That was awesome. I <laughs> have right new favorite weapon, right? What is this? You see junk. Okay, what the junk? Okay, a pile of junk, a little bit of everything, and weighs 12 pounds. All that for junk, right? Oh, flamethrowers are just as dangerous in your enemy's hands? The flamethrower? Uh, the flamethrower did like 60 damage. Yeah, and 37 when it was like farther away. All that for junk, right? Friggin' A. Um, let me check out this ladder. You're gonna want to go back in there. I don't want to deal with that giant freaking guy. Okay. Let's try to avoid that. Whatever that is. So... Could I just be unintelligent and that junk is actually, like, used for fixing things? That's what I was thinking, yeah. That it could be useful junk, but my character doesn't recognize it as being useful. Dude, yeah, no, I was so disappointed in Fallout 4's flamethrower. I mean, one of my favorite weapons in the entire Fallout universe is the incinerator, the thing that lobs fireballs. Um, but yeah, I was just extremely disappointed by Fallout 4's um, flamethrower. It just... The closer your enemy is, the more damage it does. That's not the point of a flamethrower. It's a mid-range weapon that does damage over time. If it doesn't kill them outright. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to work. Not, okay, it's basically a shotgun. With a larger clip size. Right, right. I know, it's a real shame. I I, um, I tried to do a Fallout 4 series uh, fairly recently. I guess it was maybe two playthroughs ago. Wow, to me that's fairly recently. It was like six months ago, probably. But, uh... But yeah, uh, I, you know, mods just fucked it up real hard. <laughs> J 
Junk Master mod? Okay. Oh, uh, Leo, did you link another mod again? Oh, really? There's a lot of crits that you can get? Cool. What? <laughs> really? That's crazy. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so let me talk to you. You've returned. Uh, do you have the parts we need for the water pump? Uh, yes, here they are. Okay, so yeah, that was actually very important junk. Uh, well, it looks like... Uh, you may uh, need some help with the parts, okay? Uh, here are some books that might that we found uh, littered around. They may help you. Now take the parts to the watershed and repair the pump. Cool. All right. Uh, let me see. You see an extra grid. Uh, you didn't learn about exit grids in your vault. Sounds scary. Yeah, this, this this super mutant guy I don't think was was hostile actually. Yeah. Okay, so let's um. Let's read that. Okay, that was Dean's electronics. Okay, so I learned about uh, mechanical and electronic procedures. Do it again. Leo, what are you what are you trying to do? Yeah, yeah. Don't even try to say .net or .com attached to anything. It's it's actually um. No, no. Yeah, I'm serious. You can't even spell dot. Don't even try. Mubot is really fucking sensitive about it. Uh, water supplies are running low in Vault 13. Find the water chip quickly. Uh oh. Shit. Was that our science that went up? Oh, is that our 90 day mark? No, that's 100 days. But yeah, that's like 50 days gone. But yeah, I think I'm getting close. I just need to go to the water shed. And, and fix the pump. Although it seems like my character might not know enough to be able to fix it. We'll have to see how that works out. Right, right! <laughs> No, not only that, Brimcon, almost two months of running through the wasteland aimlessly and running back and forth because I forgot to bring a rope and running away from, uh, lesser mole rats. <laughs> that was most of the time spent, which I think is the hilarious part of all this. So, is, like, that the watershed? Is it? That's a big dude. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure where this watershed is. Oh gosh, great. Oh wait, that looks like some important mechanical shit in there. Um, in here. Hey, you not look like ghoul. How come? Uh, that's because I dressed up real snazzy today. You not ghoul. I knew. I knew. Not full Harry. Um, yeah, it's pretty obvious. This guy's gonna kill me? You not ghoul. Or to say, not ghoul? Not be here. Who's giving you orders? Oh, ho, ho, you find out soon. Uh. Yep, 
Yeah, it's like in California, yeah. Um Okay, take me to your boss, maybe? Oh, this is excellent. You know, I actually doubted my officers when they said they'd captured a prime normal. It is so nice to see you. Uh, what do you want with me? Why, when you become one of us, of course. I can't have a perfectly good prime normal and not make it one of the chosen ones, now can I? After you tell me where your vault is. On one condition? Can I even say that? Conditions? How delightful. Go ahead, amuse me with your condition. I want to be able to ask some questions first. Why, certainly, my dear human. I'm curious just to see what you'll ask. Yeah, I think he wants to turn me into a mutant, yeah. I think it's an end game thing. Like, it's another one of the, like, if you didn't get the chip, then it's another end game situation where they turn you into a, a super mutant. Um, okay, uh, what do you want me for? Oh, haven't you figured it out yet? You're a prime normal. Soon you'll be one of us. How does no way sound? We shall see, won't we? Nope. Now I get shot. Oh gosh, they have guns. Um. Uh. Uh. Hey, where'd my mouse go? Um. I'm dead. My mouse disappeared, so that's not cool. I was killed. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radio. Necro sewers. Yeah, minus 134, right. We're gonna... Ah, crap. We're all the way back here. That looks like where a water pump would be, but I don't think I want to go there in a second time, so... Yeah. Oh, really? The outside is has, like, plasma rifles everywhere, so that's basically, like, an endgame thing anyway. Gotcha. Don't talk to the mutants. They're green and icky. I ran into them. I tried to, I tried to get to this machine, hoping it was the watershed, but... I mean, hell, that might be the wrong building. Sewers and do this again. But I got both of my things this time, so it should be easier. Time to find that junk again. Recommend saves coming? Yeah, yeah, definitely, it seems. I'm definitely, uh, definitely spoiled by, uh, quick saves and auto saves. We have much better health this time around. It's a 
lot of freaking dudes, though. Hope that guy sees me. I'm gonna sort of wait for him to come up. Let's try to go for the eyes! Wow, Greater Mole is critically hitting the eyes for 14 points, doing some extra damage to the sense of location. Um, hmm. No hand holding, want to see more bad enemies, right, right. Right, Squid, right, right, yeah, uh, that that's what always sucks, right, is you end up in this weird situation where, like, you just forget to save. I'm gonna I'm gonna die Damn. on first aid oh shit I'm gonna have to use a flamethrower oh boy in first aid. Let me try to get out of here, though. End combat? Okay. Did oh, no, I don't have any first aid kits. Shit. healed for three that's nice but yeah I think I'm gonna have to uh, since my health is so low I'm actually gonna have to take these guys out with um, with some stuff here let me try to get another one just so I don't die instantly to something you don't forget to not wash your hands right hey another three you know this is working pretty well let's keep going I'm also getting experience points for doing this correctly and I failed to heal anything all right it's good enough for right now. Um, let me do this. I'm gonna switch weapons here. I'm gonna try to get the attention of little rats first so that I don't waste a flamethrower on them. Back up like two. Wait here. Most of its turn. Hit for seven points. Oh. Back up three. You hit me for five points. Damn. Oh, it's a tough rag. Son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how this does against a, a death call, right? That could be really interesting. Five points. Yeah, probably do uh, pretty good depending on the damage, right? We're gonna freaking die though. Okay. Cool, for right now we're alright, so let's switch to the flamethrower. There's only two left, okay. Cool. Okay, we're just gonna sort of inch up a little bit here. Let them come to us. I can't actually hit them from here. All right, let's uh, let's back up then. Okay. 
48. All right, let's go for it. Nice. Though the death claw just thanks you for warming it up a little. Oh, so death claws are nasty regardless of what you're using? Okay. I'm gonna try to back up this way. Oh, do you see that? The corpse has like a little char to it. Oh, that's amazing. That's I like that little detail. Awesome. Oh, good. It didn't get a hit on us. All right. Nice. Uh, let's... Can I reload? I've got some extra tanks. Cancel. I just drop its fuel? Oh, what the hell happened there? I think I dropped all of its fuel? Did I just empty the entire clip? What the hell happened there? Oh no, I, I okay, so I, I did empty the clip, okay, so. watch a guy in his late 20s fumble around with early inventory systems. Uh, how do I reload? It looks like I did get the ammo back. Do I just click and drag? I can only do what? Five? One? Oh, okay, so it counts as a canister. Gotcha. Okay, it's kind of weird how it does that. Interesting. So it has two, and it'll force me to reload. I see. Oh, yeah? Really? Were the Fallout 4 Death Claws the weakest in, in, in all the uh, renditions of the game? I guess that's kind of relative, because you could infinitely level in Fallout 4, which you couldn't do in previous games. Alright, we're going to need to uh, to do a first aid here, because we are going to freaking die. Okay, failed to heal. Hey, healed for four points, it's good enough for me. Head back. Oh shit, I didn't even see that one. Good thing it missed. Save after this. Yeah, I know. I thought that was a weird move too for the beginning of Fallout 4, where basically you're you fight a death claw and you're given like a full suit of power armor in the beginning of the game. Granted, Fallout 4 power armor requires fusion cores, so it's not like you can infinitely use it, but it's definitely way different from previous games where like, sure, if you knew your way around, like Fallout 3, you could come across a death claw pretty early on. Um, but, like, you never come across any power armor that early in a game. Hey, Teradex. Yeah, back to the classics. Yeah, yeah, we're playing a, a character who's uh, basically really good at uh, melee weapons, throwing weapons, and big guns. Um, we started off with a flamethrower.
Well, no, no, yeah. It's a, a like... I'll put it this way. I was more impressed with the beginning of Fallout 4 than I was with Skyrim's beginning. Like, that is a hell of a way to start off getting in a suit of power armor, grabbing a minigun off of Vertibird, and frickin' mowing down a death claw. That's fucking intense. Alright, so let me talk to you. Good. Uh, get the power stuff, or the tools. Excellent. Have you fixed the water pump? Uh, no, not yet, but I'm still working on it. I wish you luck then. Okay. So we're at that next part. Alright, so let's save. I'm gonna save over the Necro Sewers. Necro Sewers. Um, to the watershed. Probably squid, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From what I've heard, basically to get into the Brotherhood of Steel in this game, they basically send you on a suicide mission, uh, and then maybe they'll let you in, basically. Like, it's, it's like, they basically intend for you to die out there, and then you have to climb the ranks, and it's not an easy time. Right, right. That, that's a way to basically combat that um, squid, definitely. Alright, well, um, you know what, it's getting late actually, uh, so I think I might actually stop there for the day. Um, I mean, I think we're, we're actually on some pretty good pace here. We have 101 days left, uh, but we have, I think we have a way to basically, uh, repair the water pump. Um, we've, we've picked up some extra parts. Oh, uh, let me make sure I read these books. Is it repair 25? I'm not sure what this actually increases. Yeah, let's use these books. There we go. Cool. Oh, yep, yeah, and here's the, uh, the thing saying that the water chip, uh, find the water chip quickly. Sweet. But yeah, I think uh, think that we're we're on a pretty good pace here. Um, so yeah, let me just check this again. Yeah, so our repair skill went up. Nice, awesome. So yeah, I think what we'll do here then is um, we'll call it for the day. Uh, next time, I'll try to at least scope out where the watershed might be. Um, but I feel like my health's so low that I might actually have to go back to the surface and travel back to a safe place. Which basically means running away from rad scorpions in a desert till we get to the hub and find a doctor there. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, currently, this is our schedule right now. Um, there we go. I Basically, every other day we're playing Darkest Dungeon and uh, the original Fallout. Um, it seems like Darkest Dungeon has one more day, but uh, Wednesdays and Fridays are my short day, so we're basically going to get equal play time out of both games. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time for whatever game you join me for. Alright, I'll see you guys later. See ya, everybody. Oh yeah? Awesome, Squid. Thank you. Actually, if you do it, I think you'll get a little surprise. Let me see if it works. I've been trying to work to get the uh, stuff working out, but we'll see.